Greetings, and welcome, everyone, to Spooktober. Uh, I, w I would do the mad scientist evil laugh right now, but it it's only the first day. Let's not blow our entire wad right here and now. <clears throat> so, with that said... Oh, shit, I already forgot about that. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh... You're not even supposed to show up right now. Ah, that's already a great sign when that happens. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Let, let, let's try... Let's try giving us away. Uh, what about now? Uh, will that do it now? There we go. <laughs> Whoops! No, I forgot something. <laughs> So, as it might be well known, uh, we're playing Resident Evil, so you might think that we're doing uh, the order of releases. No, we are actually doing this order of the lore of the story. Well, if that's the case, uh, why the original Resident Evil? Shouldn't the start be at Resident Evil Zero? Um, g give it time. I, I promise. Uh, I I'll get to the reason why it is. For now, let's just appreciate uh, bad voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> or in the case of the first game, just bad acting to begin with. But of course, uh, first, let's just make sure everything seems to be in order. Gotta remember that this is not insta-turn, so I have to make sure that's the case. One in full stereo, baby! Full stereo! Alright, and uh, I believe everything else seems to be in order. Alright. I see Chris walking and boom! Suddenly his eyeball. <laughs> uh, I think original is not the best. Let's just do beginner. Because I don't trust myself with this game. Even I don't trust myself with this game. So yeah, we have two characters to choose from. Either Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. That might have given a hint away as to why I'm doing this. If you're still not aware, again, give it time. But it is the year 1998, in July of the Raccoon Forest. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team. Who disappeared during the middle of our mission. You can tell how horrifying this is by the monotonal of my voice. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being It's a shame I'm not playing a translated people. Japanese version because the then you would actually family. see the blood, guts, and gore. Bravo from team went to the these, hideout of the group. Let alone it be in color and not black and white. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Someone kept plugging at the strings, those bastards. hungry. You can't blame him if he's hungry. It's a good thing Frost's there. They just need their munch munch. Um, nom 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 nom. Again, so much of the blood and gore was kept in the original Japanese version. No! Don't go! Also, 12 years of Shakespearean voice acting to nail that line. Redfield. 
you. Also, this is the edited version. In the original one, you'd see him smoking a cigarette with his uh, lighter. Jill Valentine. What the fuck is with this music? It doesn't sound intense at all. It just sounds like. Hey, Rebecca. Sad we won't see you. Wesker. Wesker. Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion. Where they thought it was safe. Yet. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Oh yeah, we are missing Chris, aren't we? Stop it! Don't open that door! Don't! Open that door! What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Uh, so you're gonna go check it out then? Stay alert! I feel like a bit of rephrasing. Like, you would have said, alright, you go check it out. I'll secure this area. You know, not saying. I'm just saying. Also, clock ticking. A dining room. Alright, so now the actual gameplay begins. What? To a degree. What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find and find any other clues. I'll be examining See if this. you can find and find any other clues. Hope this is not Chris's blood. All right, fun little fact. Uh, when I first started playing this game, uh, it was with the Nintendo DS, Deadly Silence. And it had an ability to change the blood color to be like yellow monster blood or even blue blood. And it's funny, because it changes the blood of everything, but he still says that line. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. What with him turning into a monster and all. Oh no, a zombo! Oh yeah, you don't even have to kill that zombie. You can just leave immediately. Why? Because even if you do take it down, uh... Our good old buddy Barry will take care of it anyway. What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. Yeah, headshots usually tend to take him out. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. And of course, top priorities, because we clearly have them. Hey, Wesker, we happen to find a body here. Do you know anything about... Uh, Wesker? Wesker! Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Alright, I promise not to leave the hall. No matter what, I will not leave this hall. I'll go under the staircase. Lots of things to do under the staircase, but I won't leave there. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be Now it's Wesker's time Let's to disappear. I'm doing a magic act! <laughs> okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. It's ginormous! We should start from the first floor, okay? And, Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Because, yeah, she could have chosen a warrior Thanks. class or a cleric Maybe class. No, it. she chose to go the rogue class, so that clearly makes her the master of unlocking.
Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Like he wasn't there to begin with? Yeah, you know what? Uh, screw, screw this mission. Let's just go out the door. So nothing bad will come of it. Oh my goodness, this is a Zombo dog! Uh, yeah, we're stuck in this mansion no matter what. <laughs> uh, but I may as well take this as a grandiose opportunity time to check our equipment. So now we got our handy gun. Uh, but there's one thing I forgot to grab, so... Even though Barry told us to look in the opposite direction, we're still going to go back this way. Because I doubt there was anything here to inspect. We can get our first item right here, which is an emblem. What does it mean? What does it have to do with anything? Uh, nothing right now. But we will discover its purpose sooner or later. Alright, Kenneth's body is here. Now he's become a mere shadow of his former self. Damn. Oh, hey, there's bullets inside his neck. And even more bullets in his neck. Although I think uh, it's just two clips worth... Looks like a picture of a mansion. I, I was kind of looking at that. And notice that his legs aren't real. Nor his head. Uh, the torso, however, that that's the most important thing. You have to make sure you can't be able to walk through that. Alright. So yeah, the real reason I came over here was, I guess, to grab the emblem. But more importantly, to get our... Uh, 60 ammo bullets. In the form of ammo clips. Now that we actually have ammo to use our gun, let's check this side. I mean, I could check to the left of that door. There's really no purpose as of yet. So let's just ignore that. But before we push that for before we push that forward, let's push it to the side of it. Alright, now we can push it forward. It's a map of the first floor. Will you take it? Absolutely. And of course, we check the first floor map. Yep, that sure looks like a map. I think there's one important thing to get here, but more importantly, uh, Zambo. And it's important to know, uh, if they form a pool of blood after you take them down, uh, you know they are permadead and will not rise back up. Yeah, I think if memory serves, uh, aside from the first floor map and those uh, ink ribbons, there's nothing else in this room. So, that means now we can unlock this door. With our lockpick. Because we are the master of unlocking. And check out this room. <clears throat> I'm going to move forward, if only because of that. Look, that dog had rabies. I had to put it down. Same thing with this one. I only two bullets for that one. I have no clue. Yes, yeah, so we push aside this shelf. More ammunition clips. Uh, so that. Uh, was there anything here? No. 
Or if there was, probably need to push it to the other side. <clears throat> well, yes, enough about this room. Let's move on to the next one. I believe it's locked. The carving of an armor. Okay, so we're not really a master of unlocking, but a somewhat master of unlocking, if that's the case. If we can't even open every door with our lockpick. So, um, yeah, kind of overstepped your boundaries, calling it the master of unlocking. It's a toilet. It's nothing useful, though. Although, if memory serves, was it here or in arranged? I think it was in arranged mode, where you could expect this, and then a zombie would pop up behind you, and you have to suddenly kill it. Because, <clears throat> yeah, otherwise, as far as I'm aware, that's just an empty room with absolutely no purpose whatsoever. Let's see. Now, this room, on the other hand, <clears throat> will lead to something very very important. Uh, let me just make certain. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me throw up. Um, definitely something very valuable here. Our first weapon upgrade. The shoddy. Huh. Well, that was awkward. Oh, well, I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. It's a tapestry. Nothing unusual. Just some weird uh, hex god on there, but whatever. We got our first weapon. We can move onward now. Oh my god, the ceilings are coming down! Locked from the inside. Locked! Uh, bullshit. Oh well. Damn. Guess I should have saved. Well, this is our lives now. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> and it only took you until now to realize that. Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Oh. Hurry! This way! I mean, worst case scenario, at the rate it's going, even if it does reach your head, you can just crouch down and crawl out. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. All right, we got our line. That means we're practically done with this. No, there's still but way, Barry, way more to do. didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Look, you already went into the dining room and uh, found nothing, so you have no room for complaints. I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Mm. Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Eh. Now, I think in memory serves, our Beretta can hold 15 bullets. So, every time we grab 30 bullets from our ammo clip, we're basically grabbing two ammo clips. And I don't think it'll let me... Oh, well. Good. They thought about that even in the beginning. Ah, shit. Okay, so you were dead. Ah, okay, there you are. Let's see. I step aside and... Okay, he's down. That's the one thing I miss about, um... From Resident Evil 2 compared to this one. That since we don't have the auto-aim feature, I can't necessarily tell if a Zombo's truly permadead, unless I waste another bullet. And 
I think that's another little blood. Of course, the incredible camera angles make it so easy to tell whether that's the case. No, not really. But it's a good thing we're here, because number one, we can grab our first healing item. But more importantly, number two, we have our first of many save rooms. And I know what I said. I'm not including the main room, the main entrance, the save room. Oh, well, we did get some more ammo clips here. And this is the thing that sucks. You can't actually grab them from the same item. You have to put them in separate locations and then combine them in order for that to work. Which... I know it's a thing we've gotten used to in 2 and beyond, but that's still stupid. But yeah, there's really no need for uh, the chemical as of yet, so we'll leave you in there. And I'm going to say, until we have to face a certain enemy, or rather, a certain boss enemy, I'm not going to worry about uh, saving too much, because I trust my skills. Oh, that's, that's kind of a hilarious word. Skill. Okay. Wasn't sure if there was a Zombo there or not. Anyway, let's check what is inside this room. Ah, yes, the beginning of life, from cradle to grave. So there are certain pictures we have to press in order. Picture of a newborn baby. We'll push that. Picture of an infant. What's that? Lively boy. What's that? Young man. A tired middle aged man. And finally, the bald-looking old man. From the beginning of life to the end. And we got the star crest. Star. So why was it important that I did it in that order? Well, as you can tell, there are many crows lined up near there, and yeah, this picture is titled From Cradle to Grave. Hence why I was giving you the hint of doing that. If we clicked it in the wrong order, um, the birds would become enemies, and yeah, the less we deal with them, the better. Now let's open up this doorway. There. Oh, hi, doggo. Well, we're already here. May as well use the first of this. But we still need three more in order to gain access to here. At least we cleared that out. And more importantly, emptied out more of our cramped inventory. And if you thought this is cramped, having eight character slots, um, that's because at the very least, Jill has a side pack, so she could attempt to carry more. Uh, not so much with Chris, who doesn't have a side pack and can only carry six items at a time. Uh, but yes, with that out of the way, let's climb our way up the stairs.
Ah, you're dead. Also, hi there. Okay. That time, I saw the pool of blood, so I know you're dead. Oh. I don't know why I thought there was another one there. No oh, memory serves. I think there's one in here. Or not. I could just be full of it. That's always true. It's a piece of paper. Absolutely nothing for us to do unless we have a certain item. Oh yeah, we'll worry about that later. For now... Let's go ahead and mix our herbs. Can't go in there. We need... Something related to a helmet to get through there. But that's okay. That just means time for us to keep going on an adventure. Uh, just see. Okay. Nothing else from there. So we passed by this door earlier. Uh, need something related to armor to open that one. If you're thinking about this one, doorknob's broken. What it means is that it does work. On the other side. That is basically a one-way door. Uh, okay. Now for count. Moink, moink. Welcome to the library, a fountain full of information. Plus, it's all well arranged, so how can you blame anyone for that? Uh, botany book. Book about herbal medicinals, or medicinal herbs. As you may know, there are many plants that have medicinal effects. Since the ancient times, humans have been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we are going to sample three herbs that grow around the Raccoon Mountains and give their outlines as examples of these plants with medicinal properties. Each herbs have different colors and different effects as medicinal plants. The green ones recover physical strength, the blue ones neutralize natural toxins, and while the red herbs does not have any effects by itself, the red herb is only truly effective when it's mixed with the other herbs. For example, if you mix this herb with the herb that recovers physical strength, the effects of recovery will be tripled. By adjusting the amount and experimenting with these three herbs, you can create various kinds of medicines. But I'll leave the details in your hand, because that's the best way to acquire true knowledge. So, it's funny, uh, when you get to uh, the remake of Resident Evil 2, you can combine the red with the blue, but here the red can only be combined with the green. So I'll just say the various combinations you can make are green, green, which recovers half, if not uh, two-thirds of your full health. Three greens or a green and a red will recover full health. Um, green, blue recovers the same amount of health a green herb would do while neutralizing poison. Two greens and a blue, basically the same thing as two greens, with the effects of blue, while the red, blue, and green is a full recovery for everything. Cures your poison and gives you full health. That's all you really need to know about that. And I figure since we're at the start of the Resident Evil series, may as well do that. Oh, great. We unlocked it. So now we can step on through, and that means we can now go... Yeah, I meant what I said when I said um, that was a uh, one-way door. Because we cannot go back that way. Okay, so almost there. It's locked. There's a carving of an armor there. Oh, hi. Uh...
might seem like I'm wasting bullets, but it's basic uh, zombie survival uh, 101. If you think something's dead, give it a double tap. It's locked. Carving of an armor. Since we can't go through there, uh, this is the only other door we can check for the time being. Barry! Oh, hi, Barry. Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. Yes, this hall is dangerous considering we've encountered exactly zero enemies Let's inside this main first, hall. Shall we? Okay, let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. My knowledge. Thank you. I'll take this then. So yes, let's look at our weapon. That's not a weapon. That's ammo for a weapon. Get get your bearing straight, Barry. I thought you were a firearms expert. <laughs> yep, whatever. Uh, I'm not going to take deeper into the details. I'm not here. Anyway, uh, I forgot. Was there anything to the left over here? Nope, that's just an empty hallway. Also, since I'm up here, uh, I may as well show this off. On the second floor. I can't even... Never mind. Probably won't show off that well unless we have a map. Like an actual, factual map. Boo. Oh. Make our way through here. That ah, shit. I was just exploring that area. I didn't think it would get me to the door. But then again, early PS1 title. I should not be surprised. Which I think it's only fair I mention up until now. Uh, I have played and beaten this game numerous times. Not nearly as much as Resident Evil 2. So if I start fumbling around, now you know why. Anything important here? Oh no, it's Forrest! He's been pecked to death by crows. Oh well. May as well take his bazooka. Nothing else left for me to do, so leave the room. Which is funny, I think in hard difficulty, rather than fighting the crows, um, Forrest uh, gets reanimated and then um, starts attacking you. Yes, now that I actually have a full inventory, uh, I should probably uh, dump some of my equipment here. But since I already have the shotgun, uh, I might just drop off the bazookas. Careful now. There might be deadly zombies everywhere, but we can't uh, ignore the most fearsome foe of them all, uh, stairs, if you climb down too fast. Make sure you take your time. Remember, safety first. Alright. Let's drop off our bazooka. Because, yeah, not grenade gun or grenade launcher or anything like that. No, just bazooka. So I want to make sure, uh, wait. Okay. I don't know why I thought for the briefest of moments I had, um, the ink ribbons. So I thought, oh, I have ink ribbons. I can just deposit them. No. 
And I'm confident that I can, uh, well, actually, I should say, extremely confident that I can beat uh, Resident Evil 2 without the need of first aid sprays. Uh, as far as this and 3 goes, I make no guarantees. Hence why I'm not depositing them. Or at least not depositing them. Yet. Yeah, so unless I actually go down the staircase back into the first floor, this is still considered uh, second floor. I think I may as well show that off. And back into here we go. Also, hi. a decent ammo size. So. I think I see it, but may as well double tap just to be safe. Check to make sure nothing else. Alright. Now notice that there's a bit of a ledge over there and a statue, which only means one thing. Time to uh, fully embrace the uh, lazy cat within you and um, uh, embrace the lazy cat within you and uh, push it off the counter. And I'm sure it will come into play later. Uh, for now, let's just keep going. Oh, yeah. We got Zambos here. Ah. Give it time. A little more. Hey. Hey. A little more. There we go. Ooh, in stereo. Another one, then. Let's just see. Okay. Now it's down. Make our way through here. I believe this one, unless you have a fully access numeric code, um, it won't even let you attempt to open it up. So let's ignore that. Locked! Carving of a helmet! I forgot. Uh, was there another door through here? Nope. So, with very little option left for us, the only thing left for us to check is downstairs. That one I barely see, but it's there. Make sure we got that. All right. I was going to say, it sounded like it was in stereo. Yep, that was why. get back up after that first hit, which means that was the finishing blow. Right. 
So we made our way through that. But if memory serves, this room is important. It should be another safe room. And indeed it is. Uh, I forgot what was that. Oh, just another ink ribbon. I guess it could serve its purpose later on. Weapons and serums. Other than that, don't need to worry about anything. Uh, hmm. Worry about it later. Especially since, um, should be coming close to uh, the main dining hall. We should be able to explore that. It's locked. Carving of armor is there. Also, there's a candle, which, if memory serves, even if you have the lighter, you can't do anything with it. So, what's the point of having it there, then? To make you think. That was shit. There's a path there. Don't think for a brief moment I didn't notice you there. Make sure there's nothing else there. Alright. Let me check the other side and make sure there aren't any random Zambos walking around. straight forward. I could be able to explore that area. And then I would meet back if I go from there. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'll start here and then work my way around. Didn't even get to see if it was clockwise or counterclockwise. Rotational! We'll say that much at least. Ah! Okay, so if that was the case, I should have gotten... Yeah. I can do this room. I'll need the chemicals first. So let's do a bit of backtracking. Which again, it's a good thing that I found that uh, item room, because otherwise, if we had to go all the way back to the other side of the first floor just to reach that item room, that would have been a pain in the ass to deal with. Let's actually do this. Because, yes, I am that bit of a neat freak. But actually, since I know what the next room is going to be, yeah, this might be a good time to drop off that first aid spray. And then we'll go back through here. So here's the thing um, you need to keep in mind. We could attempt to go forward, but that um, tentacle eel-like thing uh, is probably going to hurt us. But if we mix the chemicals inside here to tamper with the water, those tentacles will shrivel up and die. And now we can be able to explore this to our heart's content. Uh, but first things first. Let's grab a mansion key. I wonder what kind of mansion key it is. Well, if we rotate it around, it's got a suit of armor there, which means we know this is the armor key. So now we can explore that as much as we want to, but yeah. Just thought about checking in there first. Grab some green herbs. Let's see what 
there. I believe you were... Is that really it? I thought you were... Oh, I'm thinking of the area next to it. Uh, mm, I don't want to combine them, because I know what's over there. Alright, alright. This only means one thing. More backtracking for us to do. Because as annoying and tedious as it sounds, um, this was a vital thing for survival horror back in the day. Item management. Because anyone could just grab all the items and just go willy-nilly with it all. But if you want to survive the true survival horror, um, you have to know when to use your items and when it's appropriate to head back so that way you can restock on supplies and such. I thought it was on the other side. <clears throat> so now we've reached this door. Yet again. This is why I was hesitant about picking up that green herb. Because now we got some red herbs. Now I think the only other item left to grab is that standalone green herb. That this room is now clear. So, yeah, once more, we'll drop off these mixed herbs. I'll, I'll keep the standalone green herb because you never know when that might come in handy. Find red ones, however. Should we run into anything that requires a mixture of sorts, that might still come into play. Uh, yeah. Although, now that I think about it, doing pretty well uh, ammo-wise. Keyword being pretty well. There's still no guarantee that we'll be fine. At least now, that we finished clearing out that room, we can go ahead and explore all these other rooms. It reads, some tigers have a red eye and a blue eye. But I think it's a tiger. I don't think it's a dragon. So how could it be a red eyes black dragon or a blue eyes white dragon? That 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 that's just nonsense. Use the lock pick. Hmm. Some ammo clip. Uh. Anything else? None of them look useful. Special. Nope, nothing special. Oh, is this a room I think it Ooh, yes, this is a very special room. Because we're going to get this book. Just to realize. <gasps> Zombo! And then one more for good measure. Ah, the 
The first set of shotgun shells. That'll prove to be really useful. So what was so important about this book? Well, let's find out. The Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the Guard, Alias, and Steve the Researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. Pfft, what a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new type of monster. It looked like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th, 1998. At around 5, five o'clock or so this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a space suit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard that there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder. Those researchers never rest. Even at night. May 12th, 1998. I've been wearing this annoying space suit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Uh, to be rel uh, to be fair, I think they were related to dogmobiles, so, yeah, they weren't even supposed to eat anyway. Barf, barf. May 13th, 1998. I went to the medical room because my back's all swollen and feels itchy. They put on a big band-aid on my back, and the doctor told me I didn't need to wear the spacesuit anymore. Eh, guess this means I can sleep well tonight. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found yet another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in big trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th, 1998. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guard on my way out. They say that the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th, 1998. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from the mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh came off. What the hell is happening to me? And now it starts to get interesting. May 19th, 1998. Fever, gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face. So, kill him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. God, I love the four itchy tasty diary. So basically, it was chronologizing uh, what happened to a person who was slowly but surely turning into a Zambo. And yeah, it, it's kind of messed up if you're playing this game for the first time. But looking back on it, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> it really is. So now if we go through this door. Oh, hey, this room looks familiar. Man, someone should do something about Kenneth's body. I just can't stay there all the time. You've used a lockpick. Ah, yes, in this room. Um, I don't think there's much of anything we can do here until we get a specific item in here. Oh. Won't shift that way, which can only mean one thing. Shifts the other way. Ah, here we go. Some music notes. And what a coincidence. Uh, we happen to see a piano right here. Turns out the song is Beethoven's first movement of the Moonlit Sonata. Or at least part of it. I mean, 
mean, they had some downtime in a Shakespearean acting school, so they may as well uh, do some piano practicing. That's that's why Jill's so good at it. But playing that opens up this area. Although, if memory serves, there's nothing really I can do here unless I have a certain item with me. So, for my own sake, I'm just going to go back to the safe room and grab that item. Besides, since we've successfully made a loop back here, that means now I can start exploring all the other areas with my armor key. since we still have yet to use our shotgun. And I th think... Was there... Yeah. Well, we'll try it with just this. Actually, I just noticed. Uh, two bullets on the Beretta. Let's re-arm ourselves with more bullets. I think there's a word for that ice, and it's called reload. Shut up. Locked from the inside, so can't do anything about that one. That's okay, though. There's a reason I went back, because notice in here, we have a brand new item we can get. The gold emblem. There's a problem. That door is closed and we can't open. But, that's okay, that's why we brought this standard emblem. It doesn't care what kind of emblem is there, just so long as something there, we won't get trapped in. And to be fair, um, even if you don't have the emblem, the worst thing you can do is realize, oh, I should have brought the emblem with me. Okay, I'll remember that for next time. I'll put this gold emblem back and come back for it later. You're not stuck in an unwinnable situation. So the game does give you that much, at least. But yeah, personally, I am sick and tired of this uh, clock that just keeps ticking, 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 ticking all the time. So why don't we do something about that by placing this gold emblem there. Three o'clock. The witch... Uh, no, that's midnight, the witching hour. Uh, three o'clock is when the ghostly spooks come to play. And we got ourselves a brand new key. wonder what kind of key it is. Well, if we turn it around, we realize... It's the shield key. So finally got rid of that ticking, ticking sound. But let's not forget we pushed this aside and got a little something for our trouble. It's a chaos emerald! Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, if you remember um, when we explored that. Yeah, that other statue. It mentioned that um, some tigers have red eyes and some have blue eyes. Uh, I think you could tell where this is going with this. So we're going to go back in here and use that blue gem. So then it rotates to one side. From there, we get ourselves another crest. The wind crust is blowing hard. And once we grab what we need, it just slides back into place. But yeah, until we get the red eye, there's not much we can do in here. So, we may 
as well. This way up to remember where was that one? Oh, it's all the way on the other side, I believe. Yeah, so I think until then, uh, I had a good excuse for um, using the one crest that one time because it was right there. For this one, though, I might as well drop off the wind crest back in uh, the safety deposit box in the safe room. show me... Uh, I don't think it shows me what doors were needed for what, unfortunately. So another thing that I missed from Resident Evil 2 was that um, all the keys that you use, like the spade, club, heart and diamond keys, they were color-coded, so they would show up on the map as such. Use the armor key. Let's see, the desk is locked. Will we use a lock pick? Why not? More shotgun shells. And I think. Oh! So, yeah, um, take that ammo clip. So, you're probably wondering what the hell this is. Um, we can't pick it up, but to put quite simply, it's a broken shotgun. And you're probably thinking, why the hell will we need a broken shotgun? Well, um, funny thing is, you can get that free shotgun um, in Jill's quest, no problem. In Chris's quest... Um, the door automatically locks, so it doesn't close in on you at that point. Also, I just realized I have extra ammo. I should deposit that. So, yeah, it locks, so you can't experience the uh, ceiling closing in on you thing. And even if you did, um, that would make the game unwinnable at that point. So, what you had to do instead to get that shotgun is that you would need to do the old switcheroo. Uh, grab the shotgun, and then replace it with a broken shotgun. <laughs> Gotta remember, that stupid mechanic here, for some odd reason... And because I'm that much of a neat nick. Do that. Again, I'm not going to give it too much shit because it is the first Resident Evil game. Gotta cut it some slack. Keyword being some. <sighs> but it is very tedious. There's no denying that. Alright. So, checking back on the map. Uh, that one door is locked me inside, so I can't do anything with that. So... Next best thing I could do is head back into the main hall and recheck all the other doors now that we have uh, new keys to use. Actually, I never got to check out this room, so... Oh, we couldn't even get in there anyway because we needed the armor key. <laughs> it's almost like I knew, only not really because it completely slipped my mind. Uh, what have we here? More ammo clips! Also, hi there, Zambo. Ooh. 
stereo. Dusk is locked. We'll use lock pit. Why wouldn't we? More shotgun shells. You're just never going to let me uh, have anything less than shotgun ammo at this point, are you, game? Uh. Yeah, I, I don't think so. And, of course, more stuff for us to grab. We don't have a key for this room. What kind of key would it be? It's a special kind of key. No, no, seriously. That's really what it is. It's a special key. So special that um, I believe how you get it is you just have to beat the game with a good ending. And then when you do New Game Plus or so, um, it... I say New Game Plus. It's basically just a game where you start with a special key in your inventory, and you can be able to change different equipment. And all it's really good for is just for cosmetic reasons. So I believe uh, one of them is a ninja outfit for Chris, and I forgot what the other item or outfit you could wear for Jill was. Again, it's been a while since I played... Um, this one. Also, I got to search you by pushing it towards that, about through here. Nope, that area is just blocked off. That one drawer I pushed was the only thing that actually had items there. Yeah, it's a good thing I was able to satisfy my curiosity by doing that. Also, I believe, use the armor key. Uh, but of course, I have a full inventory, so we'll worry about checking that out later. Uh, we cemented out this room. Uh, you'll have to excuse us while we uh, fix everything off. <laughs> also, why would you cement off a room? That just makes no sense. Uh, I think there was nothing else to do there, so let's just go through here. And deposit. Or a shotgun shell. Who knows? Maybe if I'm lucky, uh, I'll come across uh, rooms that require the keys, and then if I've opened enough of them, it'll ask me. Uh, there's really no more use for this uh, key. Do you still want to have it in your inventory? And therefore, be a good enough excuse to throw it away. Yeah, 42 shotgun shells. We're doing very well for ourselves. And we still have yet to fire a single shotgun. Though, to be fair, uh, by the end of the game, we're going to need it. It's not even one of those things where I think I'm going to need it. No, we'll definitely need it. Uh, still need the helmet for that one. All right, that was the art room. That was the art room, so there's no point in being in here. And let's see. And that just leads me back into there. So. Only other room I haven't checked is the one I just opened. And I get the feeling I know exactly what is in there. So if that's the case, um, once again, back to our safe room. The good thing is, if it is exactly what I think is in that unexplored room, then if I deposit the mixed herbs, then I should be able to collect everything no problem. Oh, not you. Uh... Plus, uh, since I am here, I guess it would be a good excuse to get rid of the wind crest. I, I just hear the hesitation in my voice. I, I know I said wind crest, but for a brief moment I thought I said wind quest. Uh, 
It's the it's the Wind Crest quest. The crest of all the quest of the crest. That that's that's pretty much the takeaway I'm getting from this. I'm I'm gonna shut up now. Just drop off our crest. So we got the stars and the wind. Um, gotta wonder what the other two crests are. I think I already know what they are. For those of you who don't know and curious, I'm just gonna let you ponder on that for a bit. As we make our way back to that room, we literally just unlocked. And yep, it is exactly what I thought it was. So far, anything else? the other two. I believe rusty boiler, nothing strange. So we got all the items here. There's no reason to kill that other doggo. So now, we have absolutely no other reason to head back into that room. And if memory serves... I think that's everything... So I believe the only other item that was yet to be picked up was that ink ribbon back in that special dressing room of sorts. So I don't need to worry about that. I guess since we have that, should be good to go. case. Probably no, this is one of the ones. Armor key. I think, it, was it helmet or shield? Either way, uh, I know there's a locked door in here. It was helmet, which we still do not have. But that's okay. Basically just me trying to find an excuse to use up the keys as much as possible until it becomes so useless I can just remove it from my inventory. So got one of two doors to take. And as far as I'm aware, it doesn't really matter which one I take. So, left or right. Left to right, right. Just see. No. Okay. 
Considering um, there's a bed frame that was close right by there, you'd think it would be a good place to hide a Zombo there just to freak you out or something, but no, I guess not. However, we did find a red herb. So even more combos to add there. Ooh, and something new for us to add into our inventory. And what is this? More ammo clips. Nothing. But now, we got ourselves a Zippo lighter. And if memory serves, that's really all we can do here. And I don't really see much of a need to have the lighter. So before we deposit that, let's get the one immediate use we can out of it right now. Because, as you can see, uh, this is just a blank piece of paper with nothing special about it. But what if I told you that it was heat activated? Because now that blank piece of paper is no longer a blank piece of paper, but is now instead a map of the second floor. I wonder if it'll show up now. Yeah, now it's showing up. So, the first time I saw this game, uh... My first initial thought was, wait, that center thing looks fucking familiar. Where have I seen that before? And then it occurred to me, uh, the hardcover floppy disks. Just, just think about that for a brief moment, because now that it's popped in your head, you'll never be able to unsee that again. Oh, come on, go down the staircase. Because, yeah, we have a bunch of items to drop off. The red and green mixed herb combo, and our Zippo lighter. And I would say a golden rule of thumb when it comes to survival horror is... No matter what it is that you do or where you go, always have at least one curative item by your side. There we go. So yeah, we got two keys, our shotgun, which we still have yet to use, but we'll keep it on standby just in case. So I don't think anything will come across now to be too much of a threat, but let's just say uh, we enter a door and are somehow surrounded by Zambos. Good time to use a shotgun for crowd control. Maybe if we can get rid of one of the keys, um, that might be a good time to get the shotgun shells with us as well. Yes, now we can check the left door. Oh yeah, and I think in there, in that pouch, is more ink ribbons. Just to show that it's there. Someone has been here already. Just be a switch. Uh, not just yet. Let's explore this area first, since we now have a new book to read. Researchers will. My dear Alma, the fact that you have received this letter is both a joy to my heart and a deepened sadness for me. I could not even talk to you because of that guy in the sunglasses. You know what? There's many people in sunglasses. That could be referring to anyone. For all you know, it could be that one 80s band member who was singing about how he always wears his sunglasses at night. Who knows? Anyway. Alma, be calm and read this. I think I've told you once before that I moved to a pharmaceutical company's lab. They headhunted me. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus that we were studying has escaped. All of my colleagues who were infected by the virus are all dead. Well, to be more accurate, they've actually become the living dead. They still wander around. Some of them are knocking on my room door desperately right now. But there's no sign of intelligence found deep within their eyes. 
The cursed virus takes away all humanity from the human brain. Love, joy, sorrow, fear, humor, all of it eternally. And Alma, even the memories of the days that I have spent with you. Yes, I'm infected. I swore I did everything that I could to prevent it, but I could only delay the progress by a few days. The most frightening thing is that I forget more about you day by day. So I chose to go a peaceful death rather than becoming the living dead. Within the hour, I will have entered my eternal sleep. I do hope you'll understand my decision. Farewell, my love, and forever yours, Martin Crackhorn. Okay, I'm trying very hard not to burst into laughter. Just just because of the... You have this deep, meaningful uh, note where he's talking about, I've already been infected. I'd rather not become a mindless drone that's mindlessly killing everyone. I choose to take a bullet to my head to prevent myself from doing that. And then you drop the ball on us by saying his last name is Crackhorn. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I've heard of stupider names before, but come on. <laughs> anyway, uh, now that I'm done with that, yes, let's press that switch. Part light switch for the bug collection. Also, um, part toilet that flushes. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, I don't think I can do anything from there. But yes, if I go this way, however... There should be something here. Or wait, 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 wait. Oh, I I see what I did wrong. I fucked up. I fucked up. That's okay. That's okay. For some odd reason, if you leave the room and walk back in, the puzzle resets itself. So I had the right idea, I just pushed the bookcase in the wrong direction. There we go. Got a little hidey hole where we have some actual explosive rounds. But yeah, that that's all it's for. Because yeah, I don't mind using a shotgun if need be. The bazooka, on the other hand, uh, that I might need to hold on to Unless we get to a boss. Yeah, for now, we can explore our way through here and discover more of what the secrets this mansion has to offer. Use the armor key. All right, this puzzle. So, this is a good puzzle, but also a bit of an annoying one. Something can be seen in the showcase. Also, um, there's this button here. Will you push the switch? Until you can cover up all of these holes, um, do the smart thing right now. Don't. there because um, it's a beginner's trap but what's in there is uh, poisonous gas so if you cover it all up first then you should be fine there we go now let's give it a try Because, yeah, if it's exposed, the poison gas will come by and you have to leave the room, as it will slowly but surely kill you. But, if you cover them all up, it opens this compartment for the, uh, 
No, I'm sorry. I just need to get a closer look at that. <laughs> the smug son? I don't know what else to say, except it's a very, very smug-ass son. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, it's been forever and a half since I last played this game. Uh, and I know it's not intentionally trying to be funny or anything, but my god, is it hilarious. Use the armor key. Yes! Finally, the key is useless now. Do you wish to discard it? No, I want to keep this key as a memento for all the experience I have. Yes, get rid of it. It's taking up too much inventory space. The single key that I could easily fit in my pocket is taking up a whole inventory space. Fuck that noise. All right. I know this area. I know this. Ah, it's starting to come back to me. Also, um, get ready for some beautiful, beautiful voice acting here. Richard, what happened? Oh, Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! <laughs> You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Be careful, Jill. There are terrible demons in here. Ouch. Okay, fuck what I said about Chris with the no, don't go. That took 14 years of Shakespearean acting for that to start. <laughs> oh. Truly, truly hilarious. Truly hilarious. Okay. As far as I'm aware, I don't think there's a way how you can save Richard. As far as I'm aware, maybe there's a way how to do it in the remake, but I don't think there's a way to do it in here. But, regardless, um, gotta do this as quickly as possible, for some odd reason. I say for some odd reason. If this were happening in real life, yeah, you'd probably want to hurry up to saving him. Besides, if nothing else, this does give me a good opportunity to get rid of my Suncrest. But yeah, this is the room that he was talking about. First things first. Uh, let's drop you off so we got that. And then... Drop you off. But yeah, we actually did quite well for ourselves. Uh, up until now, we haven't been uh, attacked by any of the monsters up to this point. But yeah, at this point, um, whether you're a somewhat expert at this game or not, um, you're going to end up taking at least one hit. And considering um, this boss that's about to show up, for good reasons. And it's funny, um, considering that you have to do all you can to save this person before time runs out, you'd think there would be a timer showing up to show uh, whether or not you could quote-unquote save him. But, um, yeah, it really doesn't matter in the end. Here's 
the serum. Richard, hold on. I'll give you a shot now. Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... Ow. No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh... Sorry, everyone. It's just... It's just... That was such terrible voice acting! <laughs> okay, let's move on with then. Because I'm sure you can check it again if you want to. Richard is dead. <laughs> That's all it is! You, you'd think it'd be like... Damn, Richard's dead. Despite my efforts to try and save him. Woo! Answer, so avoid that without taking a hit. And I'll always be sure to double tap. Most important thing, always make sure you double tap in a survival horror game. Let alone survival horror in general. Also, um, yeah, I am I am noticing it. Um, probably not paying too much attention to it, because obviously, survival horror, you never know when something might just pop up from out of nowhere. But yes, I am looking at chat. How is it going, everyone? Um, you're just ink ribbons. I'll pass on that. And I want to say there should have been a light switch here, but I guess, um, it's bright enough. That, uh, too dark to see anything. So yeah, there should be a light switch. Oh! Right, the lighter. The lighter. Oh, we'll come back for this later. We'll come back for this later. We got more important things to worry about. Although, was there something? Okay, no. We got something much more bigger to concern ourselves with. So much so, I'm actually switching to the shotgun. That's when you know um, shit's getting real. Also, now we are done with the sealed key. I think, technically speaking, yes, you don't have to, since I have all the extra uh, ammo and stuff. I don't know, I might as well fight it. It's a snack, oh no! Got the moon crest. Whoop. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. We're able to get out of him without taking a single hit. <laughs> I was so expecting to get hit there! I was so expecting to take a poison hit there! Holy shit! Wow, I have never done that before. I've always fought the snake. I always fought the snake, never having to worry about that. Wow, okay! No damage run, baby! Let's go! I'm not expecting this to last long. I'm not expecting this to last long. Especially when we encounter a brand new enemy. We're definitely not going to have that last for much longer. Ah. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> 
I, I'm, I'm still in bewilderment that I was able to get through that flawlessly. And not, and by flawlessly, I mean actually flawlessly, not flawlessly, because that, that's an entirely different flawless altogether. Yeah, if nothing else, um, that did happen in your original playthrough, Jeff. So, if they really wanted to see it that bad, um, fuck it, I'll give a shout-out to you. Go check out um, Jeff's playthrough of this game on his own channel. And since it's nearby, may as well... Well, actually, that's the case. I know what to do. I know what to do. Number one, we'll get rid of our two crests. Number two, um, since it's on the way, well, not really on the way, but since I do want to grab those items, we may as well uh, take care of that one candle puzzle. And yes, it's come to the fact that I'm actually calling that a puzzle. Alright, that's all the way on the other side. Oh well. I highly doubt I'm going to get a good ranking on this based on speed. A decent ranking at the rate I'm going, but not the best. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of folks that speed run this game that have done far too well at this point. Yeah, until I get there, um, I got a bit of downtime. How are you all doing out there? How is the first day of Spooktober treating you all so far? Me, I'm doing well. I'm laughing my ass off at some of the uh, cheesy dialogue. I'm not going to say bad, because that would imply that there's nothing good about it. I can get a chuckle out of this. That alone says it's a cheesy dialogue. Because, let's be real, I think um, when this game first initially came out, they knew that they probably weren't going to treat this game that well or serious, so they thought, eh, we'll try and make it a parody out of all the old uh, hammy um, horror films and just have fun with it. Which, to be fair, I am having fun with it. So, of course, we got the wind, sun, star, and moon. And now... We've unlocked that. Alright. So now that that's been taken care of... Oh, right. I remember what to do now. I remember. It's through here and back up the staircase. I'm curious about something. I'm curious. Because I have to know. I still hear the suspenseful music, so I get the feeling, yes, um, the snack is still there. Just 
Just to add a note. Uh, but yes. Yeah. Work our way around there. There we go. Through here. Acid rounds. Um, I would, except for one thing. As far as I'm aware, there's no uh, Steam version of Code Veronica X. And since I don't have a capture card, um, we all know what it's like trying to emulate that game on Dolphin. So, yeah. Unfortunately, Code Veronica X is going to have to be skipped. Because to be fair, I do have Code Veronica X on my PS3, but... Um, yeah, without a capture card, um, I refuse to attempt to try and emulate that because I was going to say, Jeff, you would know better than anyone, um, the trials and tribulations of trying to get that to work. If it can work at all. Because otherwise, I would absolutely love to try Code Veronica X. But alas... Some games have to be skipped this year. Absolutely. Though, I think if memory serves, um, I'm pretty sure it's not on Steam. I'm fairly certain it's not on Steam, because if that were the case, I would have bought it in an instant. They got plenty of great games in the Resident Evil series. That's the one game you can't do. Also, in case you're wondering. No. The light's already on there, so why would you light that candle there? Which I guess is why um, that one um, candle puzzle tripped me up in that other room. Because if you can't even light that candle, what makes you think you can actually use it on a candle opera at some point? It, it would just make no sense. Also, may as well do that. So we combine you. And for the time being, can't use that. But we do have room. For these, so how about we this for now. Because we have definitely explored our fair share of this area enough times. I think it's time we actually, you know, made some progress in the game. But since we used up all the other keys, there's no point in checking all the other rooms for now. Actually, it probably would have been faster if I stayed on the second floor, but whatever. We're already committed to this path. Although, how did I think about it? Let me double check this other room. Just to make sure it's not just um, ink ribbons. Because I think... Aha! I was smart to check back here. And there was at least some reason for me to head back. Get more herbs.
Nothing major. Nothing minor for that matter, either. Anyway. Now, I can safely say there is no longer a reason for me to go back into that room. Uh, yeah, I already brought that up before, that you have to beat the game with... A good ending. Not necessarily beat the game, but beat the game with a good ending in order to unlock having the special key. Yeah. While I'm at it, may as well switch back to the Beretta. Since now we know, uh, we don't need to take on the Snack. back on the right path. Uh, but yes, um, I'm having a good day laughing at the cheesy um, voice acting from this game. And to get myself in the spooky mood, I'm having some ghost energy here. Uh, also, they would not have that step letter there unless there was a good enough reason. So... Oh. Gotta be pushed aside a bit. Probably can't even reach it. Right. Let's try it now. There we go. I was going to say, I should be close enough to grab it, game. <laughs> Thank you. Got the crank. So, no, this crank is going to be valuable in this area. Oh. So much for no damage run. So yeah, it's a damn shame. Um, have a perfectly good radio, except um, not really, because um, for obvious reasons, um, we can receive the calls, but not actually get them. Or actually make them, I should say. Once for the elevator, but the elevator's down. It's a map of the garden. Well, of course, I'll take it. But yeah, even if I could uh, pick up those herbs, we have a full inventory right now, so can't really do much of anything. That's okay. We shall come back for them later. And this is why we needed that crank. Oh, 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 oh. I was facing the right way. Also, we are in somewhat fine status, but mostly yellow caution. Yeah, don't you worry, Jeff. I mentioned in great detail um, how the herbs work, since I figured the first game may as well describe them all. And then just leave it at that. So I figure worst case scenario, if people are new to this game but want to know more about 
herbs, I'll just say, refer to this uh, stream of the game, and then, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Mini snacks! Yeah. Much well, like the crows, if you're fast enough, just ignore them. No, for fact. We got dogs. There we go. There's a battery that's pulled out. Can't be able to use the elevator unless we have ourselves a new battery. Also, we can't go through here because the platform was raised. So, we'll have to find a way how to get through there. Which, to be fair, we will. Oh, hi there. Bad dog. we can get through here, get our next save room, and more importantly, be able to move forward with this game. Also, there is a reason why that statue's there, because, I believe, right there. There's a, let's just say, don't, don't deal with hentai, just, just don't. More important thing to deal with, safe rooms. I'm going to put you there. I'm talking you there. Because we have ourselves a lot of herbs to collect. For that matter, a lot of items to collect. Again, it is kind of stupid that you have to um, leave the item box menu and then combine in order to form them together. Which, again, it's a problem they fixed back in Resident Evil 2 and beyond, but still annoying regardless. Notice that now we get introduced to the blue herbs, which is kind of giving us a hint hint towards something. Subway, can I take your order? Uh, yes, I'd like a Jill sandwich uh, with a sweet onion chicken teriyaki bit in there. Would you like the teriyaki sauce on there? Uh, y yeah, I just said that I do. Okay, then. Well, we'll do that. Uh, is there anything else that you want? Uh, yeah, uh, can I get mayonnaise in there? What? I said, can I have mayonnaise in there? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I spaced out for a bit. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's making me think of Aaron Hansen talking about his trials and tribulations when it comes to ordering a sandwich at Subway. 
<laughs> the side of the Wesker sauce, indeed. How's it going, Ice Twister? Let's see. This is standard green. And you are... Standard green. Good! That. There we go. There. Is there stuff to collect here? Probably not. No. I'm thinking of the other room. Snacks. Climb our way up and through there. So now we can grab the other herbs from over here. Green herbs here. Uh, I'll, I'll keep one of them there, just in case it turns out one of them is a... Yep! That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. One more herb to grab there, and it's a red. So actually, I think what we'll do is we'll worry about that on the way back. Because, yeah, spoiler alert, um, the rest of the game will not be found uh, from here. So we will be heading back to the mansion, especially since we still have doors to explore with that helmet crest on there. Uh, I don't know about the full howl, but that very first howl with the... That one definitely is a sound clip that was used in Symphony of the Night. Maybe next year I should dedicate myself to doing Castlevania games. Something to think about in the future. But we'll worry about the future later. Let's focus on the here and now. at our goodies. Hmm. Actually, size it out pretty decently there. Go me. Anyway, um, let's see. I should focus on... Because I don't think I can enter this room. Just... I stand corrected. Hey, 
you sit on it. Bound to happen sooner or later. Oh, I heard something creeping and crawling there. And bathtub filled with muddy water. Unplug it. And surprisingly, it didn't get sucked down. Uh, we have a control room key. Nothing major, it's just a toilet where you take a dump, you know. Nothing major. Alright, let's take care of that Zambo that we definitely heard in this room. Oh yeah, I definitely hear you through there. There we go, now it's dead. Hence why the double tap is there. Uh, is that not a map I can collect? Okay, I guess not. Nothing unusual in here. Uh, I've never played Lords of Shadow, nor do I have it, so... Uh, the good news is, since that idea won't be coming on until next year, I will definitely consider that. So let's check this book. Anything in particular here? All the paints are blank. What for? Oh. <sighs> definitely have something look forward to in that. More importantly, before... Bleh, before we continue onward. Push you a bit forward. Just gonna say, push it forward. There we go. Good. So now, that tentacle won't be giving us trouble there. And we can go through here. Alright! This would be a good opportunity to use this. So I can get rid of those mini spiders. Because they will be a pain he has to deal with otherwise. again, just so we get rid of those mini spiders. <clears throat> we can take care of that. And that should have been the last of the spiders to deal with. Broken what? Who knows? Who cares? It's broken. However, on this barrel, we do have some more ammo clips. Oh, just more ink ribbons. Boo. 
cares about that. But more importantly, uh, we glanced over this a little bit. A nine ball. Pointing at nine... Fifteen, if I had to guess. So we're looking at... Roughly 4.45. I'm seeing. Or maybe 3.45 even. Who knows? We'll find out along the way. More importantly, let's go through here. Although, yeah. Now that we're done dealing with spiders, may as well switch back to our gun. What is in this room? Which is a new area to explore, which for now, uh, we'll just ignore that for a bit. Discover some new herbs. Which would be good to get, but for now, full of inventory. Need the room two key in order to gain access to that. And considering that my inventory is full, yeah, I should probably head back and deposit. Focus on getting the herbs first, and then worry about the rest of the item inventory management afterwards. Oh, wait. <laughs> I literally just said, we're going to get the herbs first immediately ignores the herbs. Aye, aye, aye. thought there was a second one there. Grab that. And is that a... That's another herb. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it's going. I see how your mind works at this point, Resident Evil. So I got just a thing of what to do at this point. Uh, first things first. Let's get that blue herb. So you may as well deposit you for later. Oh, don't know why I thought that was a. Um, that. Uh, yeah. That's good. And then once we see our health deteriorate into the orange, 
dare I say, red zone of health, that's when we'll start using our herbs. Because considering the yellow, it's basically anywhere from 100% health to 51-ish percent health. Uh, it's basically green. Uh, 50 to 26% health, you're at uh, yellow caution. Um, orange would be... Uh, yeah, am I not able to engage with the... There. I uh, believe it was... Three... Forty... Five. Now, you see, Jeff? This is how you do it. Trying not... Trying to go through that whole... Uh, let's let's pull a star uh, space balls reference. Type in one, two, three, four, five. Then adds in an extra six for good measure. Boom! Puzzle solved. No, no. If you actually look at the directions, you can solve it without curve stomping yourself into a wall. <laughs> and I know how condescending that makes me feel. I'm just making a joke. Don't take it too seriously, Jeff. Although, if memory serves, I think over here... Yet. And then immediately leave. We pissed off the bees. That's okay. I just needed one item. Because now that we can actually think, uh, this should be key number two. Yes. We got the dorm key for room two. Come on. Come on. There we go. So now that key is pointless. Throw it out. Let's see what's in the bathroom first. You know, in the bathroom. If you really needed to go, you could have just locked the door. Didn't have to make a whole scene of it all. So I'm willing to live and forget. But yeah, I'm taking that ammo clip uh, just to prove to you a lesson. If I had my knife, I'd stab you to further emphasize my point. But that would mean a whole lot of backtracking. So I hope you learned your lesson. Okay, there's the map I was thinking of. So I wonder what this is. What's this? A secret passageway? Who'd have saw that coming? Also, a uh, Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point forty-two is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than the other plants have been, and shows quite the unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult for us to determine exactly what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which plant forty-two gathers nutrition. The first one is through its roots that reach us into the basement. Immediately after the incident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement has become flooded with water. It is easily imaginable that some of the chemical elements were blended into the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come from out of those bulbs, and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 suits its vines across around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking its blood, using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It has also some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey 
war is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. Not to be confused with Henry Stoff. That's, that's a completely different story altogether. Let's see, Duskus Lock will use Lockpick. Who wouldn't? And we got more shotgun shells. Don't mind if I do. And let's just see. I do have healing herbs. There's a ladder. Will you descend? Of course I will. Who wouldn't? Make sure. Okay. Figured if there are any Zambos here, make sure I have my gun equipped. Service. I'm going to have to push this one first. So yeah, this doesn't take much of a genius to realize. Uh, there's no gap in between from this path to the next, so we're going to have to push these boxes in here in order to make a bridge. So I thought for a brief moment from this side it looked like there was something for us to grab. there, so that way, once it reaches the other end of the wall, we can still be able to push it towards it. Also, not sure if you could get a good look at the box, but notice that it has the letters U-M-B on there. This is Sesame Street, brought to you by the letters U-M-B and the number 42. And now we have a bridge in order to get across from there. Um, I think there is a way to get into the next room um, upstairs first. So let me check that out first before I commit to going in here. Now that we have opened the way towards that path, uh, the other bookshelf decided, for some odd reason, to shift over to the left. Don't know why, but smile and nod. It's all same retaliation. Just smile and nod. Yeah, let me check these rooms first. Door's locked, so we'll need the room three key in order to get in there. It's not locked, but it won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the other side. If you remember that report it just mentioned, um, all I'll say is hint, fucking hint. Towards that. Plus, there is a cutscene here, which I don't think uh, Jeff has shown off. So, um, for that reason, I'm going to skip the uh, chemical mixing puzzle in order to show that off. Uh, let's see. Since I'm here, may as well do a bit of inventory management. Uh, let's see. Don't think we need to use this book just yet. So that, I'm going to put you aside. So I figured at least try to have two free inventory slots. I forgot. Room 2 is past the section. Duh. Ugh. 
Continue on through here. If we go this way, we'll find answers that we need. Go through here first. Ooh, those are some big roots. Looks like a plant root. Funny thing is, I wish I could make a that's what she said joke, but I'm playing as Jill. That is quite literally what she just said. What, suck, and what sucks is that I believe there's something in here to grab, uh, but because of the water, I can't do anything with it yet. So we'll have to ignore this room for now. Just move forward from here, and I believe now come across a brand new friend of ours. Yep. It's like there's no keyhole, but there is a control room key. The key is useless. Yes. Go in, go in, go in. I don't care if I unequipped my gun. I'll worry about that once I get in the door. Now, don't quote me on this, but I believe, um, obviously, if you're at low enough hell, they can insta-kill you, but I'm not sure if they can insta-kill you no matter what health you have, so uh, don't quote me on that. More importantly, there's a lever. Let's pull it. Flush. another button. There was a sound from the room next door. See, I couldn't do anything with that room beforehand, but now that the water's been flushed and I pushed the button, now I can be able to explore the next room to my heart's content. Also, yeah, you're not hearing things. Now that there's no water... These guys can't swim. So may as well take care of you. Funny thing is, um, without water, you could actually just give them a gunshot, and that would be just as good. Or, I say gunshot. You could just give them a stab with the knife, and that would be just as good. But, eh. Don't have the knife, and I'm lazy. Let's see this now. Oh, I still can't interact with that thing. Boo. Would have thought that was a shotgun shell casing. Or a box of shotgun shells, I should say. Yeah, now that this door has been unlocked, we can go in here. All wet and useless. All wet and useless, but not these uh, handgun bullets. And I think the max is 250? Yep, 250. After that, they start taking up new inventory slots. 
Although, speaking of shotgun shells... So I was going to say, don't quote me on this, but I think... Uh, ooh, and the most important thing we'll need to get in here in order to move forward... Another dorm key, which if memory serves... Should be room number three, which we need. And it is indeed that. Uh, but I think even in um, Resident Evil 2 and 3, even then the max capacity for bullets was 250, so I'm not the least bit surprised. Yeah, I believe that is all that we can do down here. actually going to do a little bit more backtracking because uh, number one if we're not facing the snack beforehand then I guess um, technically speaking this would be considered your true first boss so let's switch out our shotgun for something a bit more damaging Inventions with um, the original Resident Evil is that you can't switch out ammos of your bazooka. You could do that for the grenade gun, no problem, but not for this game, so. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. E even I can't deny that. It's fucking stupid. Although, considering I'm not going to worry about bullets that much, and I don't think this boss can poison, but eh, just in case, I might want to think about bringing it in. Bring that with us just in case. Who knows? Um, for all we know, it won't really poison us, and we just have an extra healing item. probably wondering, why in the bloody hell would there be a book with um, no words in there? Just nothing but blank pages. Well, if we enter this room, there'll be a certain spot where we can use it in, and it'll all make sense from there. Also, I should probably switch to a gun for now, just in case we run into more Zambos, and knowing us, we probably will. Also, it looks like we got a brand new ammo type, Flame Rounds. Flame on! And actually, considering um, what this boss is, um, 
Flame rounds actually sound far more useful than acid rounds. Nope, nothing. Dust gets locked, we unlock it. With a lockpick, who wouldn't? <laughs> Just ink ribbons. Yeah, I can't carry it, but even if I could, no. Don't want to. here, the bookcase looks like it's animated and not hand-drawn, so you think you can move it, you can't. But, notice this thing here. Fro red books, and there's one white book. The V-Jolt Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found in the cells of the plant infected with the Tyrant Virus. If you're wondering, what the fuck's a Tyrant Virus? Uh, eliminate uh, the Y rant with a dash, and you get T-Virus. That's basically what the Tyrant Virus is. We also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys the plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of the UMB chemicals that we used for that very experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculations, It'll take less than five seconds to destroy Plant 42 if we put V-Jolt directly into the roots. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order in order to create V-Jolt. But the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas, which is harmful to the human body. If you are planning to handle these chemicals, then extreme caution should be taken when handling such. Followings are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Uh, two is red. Uh, NP003, purple. Uh, number four, green. Yellow six is yellow. Uh, number seven is white. Thirteen is blue with a stimulating smell. And the brown drink, UMB16, is the V-Jolt. So we took that out, but now there's still a book missing. Well, it's the same as this one. Let's put it in. And guess what? Now that bookcase has moved aside. And we can go in. Uh, but you know what? Since we are here... I know this should work fine, but just in case things don't turn out well, this actually is not a bad idea to go ahead and save. So I'll do just a little bit more backtracking. Actually, now that I mention it, I could use a bathroom break as well. So I think what we'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and save the game right now. Probably deposit the uh, acid rounds with the other set of ink ribbons. So that way I can combine them into one. Let's see. There you are. You can save your progress with this. Will you save with the ink ribbon? Yes. Slot number one. Save there. In the guardhouse, first floor. Alright. So, as I stated beforehand, uh, I will be taking a small break. Uh, when we come back, we shall tackle more of this game and be able Press onward here. Who knows? We might even be able to uh, beat this game in one go. I guess we shall soon find out and see for ourselves. Anyway, see you in a bit, folks.
folks. I think that is a long enough break. We are back and more than ready than ever to continue the original Resident Evil. There. Alright, let us get back into the action now then, shall we? Uh, I believe first thing we need to do get rid of that damn uh, with, uh let's actually let's bring that with us and that, since now we are back to one bullet shy of a full set of ammo clips. Alright. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can equip our bazooka and get ourselves ready for our first true boss fight. Of course, in order to do that, we would have to actually get into the room where said boss fight is, but details is all I'll say. Okay, for real, time for the first boss of the game. Area. Yeah, now it's a good time to heal up. Oh, hey, we did it. And of course, if you defeat this boss without using this uh, V Jolt, you get grasped by that. About to get killed, but then what the Barry comes in to save the day. Jill! mention it. What a monster. I can't believe what the hell is this place anyway? <laughs> I think uh, did someone drop the script uh, when that happened? I think they were supposed to um, say, Jesus, what the hell is that back at the beginning? And then all that other stuff. I don't even know. Anyway, we got some goodies in here such as the last mansion key that we'll need in order to finish our route through here. Say, I don't think there was anything else, but yeah, let's uh, chat with Barry. Chat with Barry? Pfft, whatever. Let's just go. Because he's going to stay behind to survey what has just happened. But yes, as I mentioned before, we needed one other key to move forward, and that is the helmet key. To be fair, there is one other key um, that you need. You only get to use that if you are Chris. In fact, in his case, he has to use all four keys. Yeah. Oh, it's Wesker. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a, all of a sudden. 
And the I'm hollow, sorry, the hollow, the side. But I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Just running away Is that like right? a piss ant. Anyway, anyway, it's good to see you. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Uh, no, thanks for your hard work. Um, put in the good job there, old buddy. And in case you're wondering what it was that Wesker was killing, it was those bees. Besides, um, what more fun could it be than stepping on top of those, uh, killer bees that were already shot down? Much like they were, um, those little, uh, bubble trap, uh, or bubble wrap thingamadoodles. Now that we no longer have a need to use this, may as well switch back to that and switch over to that. Uh, so for now. Now, I think we'll need a third uh, slot free. So, how about we put you there? Go through here, and then... I do feel bad that we went through that entire boss fight and not um, actually solve it the way you were supposed to early onward by, you know using the V jolt. So I'll figure at the very least, um, show the puzzle for how to do that one. So first things we'll need are some bottles. So, of course, we got to saw all the interesting combos when it came to making them, but here we actually get to see how we do it. Something's written on the wall. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. And then 13 plus 3 is 6. What this game doesn't tell you is that you've heard all the weird combinations for doing uh, these things. In order to make uh, 3, you have to put in water for one of the bottles and I think we need it for one more so we'll get our second bottle filled with water now we need some red number two uh, it's number four I'll worry about four later There we are, number two. Combine it with that to make three. I believe it said three and four make six. Or er, seven. <laughs> three and four make six. Yeah, that makes total sense. Three and four? No, that doesn't add to seven. That's six. I mean, what kind of book were you reading, son? Combine to make seven. And once more, we'll need some two. To make some three. Oh, 
Although I think, um, before we made this, I should have made six as well. Shit. Actually, I shouldn't have made three just yet. Fuck. Oh. Already went this far. May as well continue on with this. Uh, fuck. So, this means I'll have to get rid of the key in order to get that other bottle. Or, wait. Is one of them empty? Yeah, but one of them stuck with three, and I can't get rid of seven unless I make six. So, yeah. Gonna have to get rid of this key. And I get rid of, I mean, at least uh, stored away. The sad thing is, I can't even make the excuse of... Well, how was I supposed to know? Um, it clearly said that there, and I knew it was there. I already shot myself in the foot while doing that. So now we're going to need a 2 and a 4, combine that into 6, combine the 6 with the 7 to make 13, and then finally combine the 3 with the 13 in order to make our V-Jolt. And since we can't even um, use it to defeat the plant boss, um, we may as well use it as our newest energy drink from Umbrella. our V-Jolt. Now it can destroy that Ivy monster. Only not really, because it's already been killed. In fact, just to prove a point, I could probably go back downstairs into bleh, that underwater lab area to further prove the point that um, that's if you want to skip the first phase of the boss and just jump right to the second one. Whereas here, um, the way I did it is just beat the boss, not realize you needed to use it early on, get caught by the monster, and then Barry has to destroy this thing himself. through it. vibrant and full of life, but now it's withered. Yeah. And for some reason, Steam popped up. Uh, don't need to use you now, Steam. Eventually, but not right now. Because now we can't even use it. Which means there's little to no... Oh, it was... Okay. Now I see it. it. I couldn't grab that thing because it's not an item box. It's part of the box, as in part of the background. Ugh. <sighs> So that makes sense. So yeah, that is how you would normally destroy it with that um, intent in mind. 
But otherwise, we have ourselves a free G-Fold. And I say G-Fold, uh, V-Jolt. Yeah, the G-Vault is... Uh, I think that's how they came up with uh, the G-Fuel. It's like, it was originally called uh, G-Vault, but then they thought, nah, that's too close to Resident Evil. Let's just call it uh, G-Fuel instead. Which makes sense. It had a pretty bland taste at first. Uh, hence why all the chemicals. So then they decided, uh, what if we don't use all the chemicals in there and just make it like every other drink? And then have different wacky flavors in there. And now all of a sudden, oh, it becomes such a successful hit. We should have done this right from the get-go, durr Yeah, we don't need to worry about using either of these bottles, so first of all, next herb, helmet key. Actually, I'm going to put these bottles up here because there's really no need for either of them. You've already milked it for all it's worth, so what's the point? So now, we are done with the guard house. It can make our way out of here. I notice the radio is going off again. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a This is Jill. Brad? Oh, it's broken. Damn it, it's broken. And this place will become relevant um, once we are able to activate that mini elevator. But for now, just make our way through here. Now we come to the second half of this game, and believe me, this is a half of the game I remember quite well, because of all the common enemies we can face in Resident Evil, hands down, this is the single enemy I fucking hate the most. And anyone else that's played the original Resident Evil will know exactly what I'm talking about. Time for us to meet our brand new worst enemy, the Hunters. seem that bad at first, but if enough of them gang up on you and you give them the space, they will fucking wreck your shit. So yeah, I was going easy on the shotguns. At this point, it's going to become one of our new, more common items to use. 
But actually, it just occurred to me, now that I have the helmet key, this is the first of the rooms we can explore. I think there's, yeah, light switch here. Magnum rounds! So it's giving us a hint hint at what our next item, or weapon I should say, that we will get very shortly. Nothing out of place or uncommon. And we have the Book of Doom here. Doom! And as far as I'm aware, I think that is all for that, but... Let's check this book out. Let's see. Eagle of East, Wolf of West. Open it up. There was a medal inside this book, so now the book is completely useless, and instead, we get the Eagle Medal. And this medal won't come into play until later... But then again, until we get the Magnum, the same could be said for the Magnum rounds. There's a new note here. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Barry. So now we enter here. We got some supplies here. Uh, first things first, let's grab the one thing we know we can grab first. The shotgun shells. And then I'm going to deposit both the uh, magnum rounds, or magnum bullets at this point. Let's call it the magnum revolver rounds, or magnum revolver bullets, because that's really the type of magnum we're getting, is a revolver. Our acid rounds. And lastly, thankfully we have no need to use it yet, but it's helpful to note that it's there, a first aid spray. Grab our acid rounds. Fine with that. Oh. Oh. Nothing else. Now we have the different type of rounds next to that. And lastly, don't think we'll be poisoned by anything yet, so may as well grab that for the time being. All right. Onward with our quest here. It's a good thing I'm approaching from this angle, because if memory serves, there is yet another hunter. Yep. as I fired before he swiped. One of the main common problems with this game is that if you fire right when he hits you, um, you don't get to damage him, but it still counts as you using up your ammo, so I fucking hate it the most. Thankfully you didn't happen there. use it up then. But yeah, I fucking hate these fucking stupid hunters. Always piss me off to no end. Uh, I can enter that room over in the far end. So let's go do that.
Ah, yes. This room. Okay. So now that I know what room this is, I'm actually going to go back and get some, um, the mixed herbs. And I know what you're thinking. Don't you already have mixed herbs? I meant the full, complete heal mixed herbs. The one that includes, uh, healing poison. Because while we were able to pass up on fighting Fawn the first time around, the giant snack monster, by the way, uh, this time around, we have to kill it. And I think uh, this would be another good opportunity to make the most out of our um, items there. So what we'll do is scroll down with this, and then once we get to that mixed herb, do that. There we go. back up the staircase. I was very close to saying ladder. Thank God I stopped myself before I committed to that. opens up in the fireplace. Nothing much to speak of there. Once we inspect here, which actually, that be a good time to switch this. Once we inspect this piano, it's time for us to begin the boss fight. Yeah, I think that's a good time to use this. And now, for real, Snack is dead. It's too dark to see anything. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Wait. All right, all good. Now oh, I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Oh, great. Now it looks like we are stuck in here. There's a switch below. Will we push it? Uh, not right now. Let's see if Barry will stay true to his word. Uh, switch over to our gun for the time being. Uh, Barry? You coming up there, buddy? Hello? Yeah, let enough time pass. He will stay true to his word and come back with a fresh rope. Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Oh. 
I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Oh, and what might that be? The pass number. Ah! See, this is going to be useful because if we look here, the pass number is 8108310. What does that mean to us? Nothing. To a specific door that we couldn't enter, it means everything to us. So we will keep that in mind. And mem memory brain lapse from EPSXE. There we go. There we go. Now Thank you. I'll take this then. Okay, so now that the rope is secure, we have free access to travel from here. And it's permanently there. So now I will definitely press a switch. Feel a hidden path here. Take this ladder down. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Oh, hi there. else to here, so means now we can go through here. And you're probably wondering what the hell is making that noise. That's just zombos munching on some food. This would be a good opportunity to show off. Double kill. Nope. Can't grab that herb. Yet, anyway. Because, yes, um, if you were to shoot the Zombos at point-blank range, um, you just do massive damage. However, if you shoot them at point-blank range and aim up, almost guaranteed to be a headshot, which will one-shot them instantly. Now, if only bullets from your handgun could do the same thing. Unfortunately not. Yeah! Should have known what was going to happen sooner or later. And you know what? It actually caught me by surprise. So there's our first official spook there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I see you there. Technically been shown off, but may as well do it. Um, 
just for haha -ha sake also. Where am I at from here? Oh, am I actually on the second floor? Oh. Thought it was on the first floor. In that case, let's see what is past this door. There's zombos there. Can't deny that. There's the pool of blood, so you are perma-dead. Does this lock? Will you unlock it? Why wouldn't I? And I believe that is more magnum. Yeah. Can't grab that, but we'll keep a mental note of that. So I get the feeling there's a zombo there. Yep! Not exactly where I thought it was, but it was there nevertheless. <laughs> no, that's how you're going to move. I think I'll go to this side. <laughs> wow. That's a first. I still got stuck on that wall. Absolutely brilliant. Um, who here remembers um, Welcome to Zombieland 2? Uh, I think that Zombo was the very definition of a Homer zombie. Let's see. Scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27th, 1998. Animal attack? Woman mutilated. May 20th. At around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Cider District of Raccoon City. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animal's doings because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerate power. Since she was wearing a hiker, a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arkley Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Raccoon Weekly, June 16th, 1998. Monsters in Arkley Mountains? Some people claim that they've seen monsters in the Arkley Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. Uh, considering how I've been doing... Then again, I am a police, a trained policewoman, so who knows? Mileage may vary, but I still say I beg to differ. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you wake them. So you smart readers should stay out of the Arclay Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, go check it out! You want to try? Yeah, just just invite people to their deaths. That, that sounds like a brilliant idea. Whoever came up with these article clippings is an asshole. Uh, Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on Arkley Mountains, Mountain Road Blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arkley Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon Police intend to begin the search for the lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arkley Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Let's see, I think that was all that was there. Most of them are on biology and chemistry. Otherwise, nothing important to discuss. And as you can see, it's a bookcase we can move. found ourselves a hidden door. Let's see. What do we have on this desk here? Ink ribbon. Blech. Pass right by that. A shelf. More ammo clips. But because it's past 30, I can't pick it up. That's okay. 
Let's live with a courtyard from here. It's a heliport! If I could be able to contact the other members from there... I wasn't even pressing the accept button. I just moved forward, and it... Whatever. So it looks like two important things to take note of. Well, I say two important things. One of them was the ink ribbon. So one important thing to keep note of. More uh, handgun bullets. Speaking of which... Yeah, still three over, so even if I could pick it up, I still can't. Various books. It has not been used for a long time, and it's dusty. Alright, so let's check this other room here. Many books. It has not been used for a long time. Just gotta keep a note of this room. There's a switch when you push it. Of course! And notice it was still kind of the same color beforehand. But now there's a switch there. Which, even if I step on it, means absolutely nothing. So what we're gonna do... Let's wrap around here. Push a bit forward. And then push it all the way back there. So that way, once it gets there, we'll have room to push it in. And then push it all the way to the corner. And now, a hidden compartment. Here we have... Hmm. A Mo disc. Unfortunately, uh, it's a later use item that we can't gain access to now. But we'll keep that in mind for later. I have a lot of things really to keep in mind of for later because of our ever-growing and ever-expanding inventory space. That is severely limited. Anyway, that was from there. Got some more herbs from that section, so long story short, we have a hell of a lot to pick up. Mm -hmm. Spook number two! Get joik. Very rude of you. Now get back up and tell me you're sorry. Uh, Zombo. Zombo. Zombo! Ugh. Now I see why Dad always told me I could never have a pet. Okay, so you are permadead. He's giving me a back massage. Stop eating. But, oh, fine. Hey, I was eating that, you dick. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I interrupted someone who was in the middle of uh, consent. It's like, uh, I I'm busy trying to munch on this guy. Do you mind? And it's like, um, do you really want to give him permission to eat you? It's like, yes. So, where am I according to this? Oh! Okay, I know where that is. So, yeah, the other side of that door is where we need to input that code. And since we have yet to do so, yeah, it's going to stay locked for a bit. Oh, wait. 
Radio's not gonna work. I haven't pressed anything yet. So yeah, I have to go back from this door and check out that other door. But you know, we've gotten into the spooktober moment when we've got to crack open a Mountain Dew. <sighs> so interesting. Um, I used to drink uh, Mountain Dew when I was a kid, and then for some reason, in between my preteen years and high school, I kind of avoided it like the plague. I don't know, maybe there was something about it that just made me feel off-pointing, but then that's when they introduced Code Red, and it kind of brought me back into Mountain Dew, so from there, the rest was history. It's a battery! Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard! Only not, because I have no room for it! But yeah, this is giving you the subtle hint of you're starting to run out of places to explore in the mansion, but now that you have a battery, there's one other place in the courtyard that you can expect. And a whole bunch of uh, grenade rounds. So we'll have to worry about that later. Now, I say grenade rounds, but I guess since we aren't using a grenade launcher, but a bazooka, they're explosive rounds. I'm trying to remember a live wire. I think that was the orange flavored one. Plus, I love the fact that um, many years ago, um, uh, first off, back to basement theme.mp3. Can never forget the basement theme mp3. It's an oven. It's badly rusted and doesn't seem to work. Oh man, now we gotta deal with another hunter again? Son of a bitch. No, actually, no, no. For once, it's not a hunter. It's just another Zambo. Yeah, it's just another Zambo. There we go. Double tap for good measure. doesn't seem to stop on this floor. Well, that's a damn shame. You hate to see that happen. Oh, well, at least now... No, 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 no. I wasn't going to check that. The Beretta, a.k.a. Um, in this game specifically, the Samurai Edge, and yeah, I heard that noise. Shit. Woo! It's a full one. I don't care. I need the healing. Oh, shit. There's multiples of them. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's a whole lot of nope. Another time, another place, maybe. But right now, that's a whole lot of nope. But then again, the restock rooms over there, so unfortunately, I do have to go that way. Yeah, not very subtle with that appearance there. Subtle, they're like, Hey, I'm gonna get you! I think a memory serves. There's another one there. God, I 
hate these fucking hunters. I'm pretty sure there's another one over here. Had to use up an extra round, but you know what? Better I use up an extra round than having to deal with them constantly for them to deal multiple damage at me. Just... Mm, I hate those fucking hunters. So, first things first, get rid of the bazooka. We're not going to use that for quite a while. Alright, um... I think for now... We'll do this. Because eventually we will need that crate. But for now, let's have another healing item. And we know we're going to get more magnum rounds, so we'll bring that with us as well. It wasn't obvious right now. I fucking hate hunters. I will say this as many times as need be, but my god, I fucking hate them. Also, thank god we are done with the fucking useless key right now. But more importantly, now that we have the code, and put in the passcode, now the door is unlocked so we can get in there whenever we want to. But. We didn't unlock that other door for no reason, so may as well check that out. Alright, this one! Let's see, first things first. Looks like it's about to move. Yeah, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't move, so we're good there. And were you ink ribbons? No, you're magnum rounds. In that case, another good reason why I came back for those. And that seems absolutely pointless, but you flip the switch. Notice that that thing is glowing. Try and take out the eyeball? Of course! Dun 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 dun! So if we got five previously, that's a big 20 we got. As far as I'm aware, that's the usefulness we found in that room. But yeah, since I'm here, may as well double check the other rooms in here. that's all for that floor. There's that special room, which we can't get access to without a special key. And then the basement. So I believe that's everything we can search for within the mansion. So, this means we only have one option left. Uh, recollect all the other items that we missed within the mansion, and then head back towards the way of the uh, guardhouse. So that way, we can raise that lever, which will stop the water flow, and then be able to continue on with our merry quest. And I say merry, it's at this rate it's anything but merry. Now we 
deposit that. What could be so important that we needed a red gem to get there? Well, let me tell you something. What's the point of having Magnum Arrow if we can't even use it? Problem solved. We got our Cult Python, our Magnum for the game. Plus, I am quite jealous of that tiger, because now, before, it could see stuff, but now it can see stuff in 3D! Or at least the old 3D. Um, let's actually deposit our magnum. Just that. We'll still keep the ammo with us since we're going to need to grab those anyway, but the very least, deposit our Magnum. Actually, since I have easier access to that area now, let's just dodge all those hunters and go this way instead. <sighs> memory serves, there was nothing there. We do have items to collect here. of rounds to grab that. Obviously, we would still need to go back there for the battery anyway, so again, probably for the best, we leave that for last. Let's see, green herb there, I believe. Oh. Oh, guess it was just that one herb. I don't know why I thought there were two. Yet. And actually, since I used up enough handgun bullets, that means now I can grab that ammo clip and not worry about anything else. The only other thing there is ink ribbons, which, thankfully, I don't need to worry about that. And I'm not entirely sure, but I think the only other item to collect here was the ammo disc. I'll still give this room a check anyway. So that's where the ammo disc is. Here. Yeah, I think that's the only other item, so... For now, not much to do here. Almost there. 
or something? Oh, no, that's just a wall. The way some of these uh, rooms are been designed, there it makes it look like um, there's another path further down if you were to make a sudden turn. So, I guess not. And just to make sure, no, nothing else. like for right now, no. So before we grab those explosive rounds and the battery, there's still the other herbs that we need to grab from the basement. So we'll head back into that elevator, go back into the basement, and work our way from there. Come on. Freezer. It has not been used for a long time. I wasn't planning to check there. I was checking the floor since uh, obviously the foreground makes it so easy to see everything here. May as well see if there's anything to collect. And so far that's looking like a no. another thing to grab. Nope. Must be imagining things, and that takes us back to that uh, gravestone ladder. to worry about grabbing from there. So yeah. I guess that's everything we grabbed from here. Taking 
That's their... Oh! Right. That's taking me back into that. Mm -hmm. I really don't feel like fighting those hunters. Which means back into the elevator we go. to a red over at some point, so I may as well combine, so that way we'll have room to get our explosive rounds and our battery. Exceiver. What does it have to do with anything right nowadays? Who knows? Who cares? Let's just grab it. grab our bazooka rounds so that way we can combine those a bit of work, but we can make it work. Uh, from here, I want to go upstairs. And I'm hoping, keyword being hoping, uh, there are no hunters on the second floor for us to deal with. Hey, Sit on it. Where one of these days I should make a Fonz um, emote because I feel like every time I have to fix, um, I say fix and wait for EPXE to work. I feel like I need to do that Fonz um, uh, hand bump so that way he gets the um, jukebox to work. Also, I was wrong. There 
are indeed hunters here. Honestly, I was surprised I was able to get that first hit after defeating that one hunter without dying. I, I say die, taking hits. Fine. Uh, let's see, from where I'm at. Not this room. All the way to the second to last one. Alright. Should be good. We're good. Yeesh. <sighs> really don't like the hunters. Like, I think technically there are worse monsters you can fight later on in this game. They're not as annoying as the hunters, so... I still feel like they are far worse. Um, yeah, let's just put that one back. Never know when we might need a free item slot. Oh! That reminds me, I'm not done yet. Fuck, I still gotta get that MO disc. It only just occurred to me that I need to go back to that library. I think, was it in here? No, I think it was the first floor. Uh, I don't think it was the basement. Yeah, yeah, we need to go back in there. Fuck. It's still all the way on the other side, too. Shit. Oh, well. At least we took care of the hunters from this path, so... As long-winded as it might be, at least I reduced the friction from going back and forth. sad thing is, I knew, I just knew in the back of my head, there was going to be one thing I was forgetting. And just to check the map once more. Okay, so we can ignore that, go right through here. feel like backtracking just to get one freaking green herb. Besides, nothing else. Uh, it's not going to bring me back to full, full health, but at least it's good enough that it brings me back to green.
Now, I'm sure some of you might be thinking, um, what's so important about the MO disc? Why did you have to go all the way back to get it? Do you need it to beat the game? No. Do you need it and several other MO discs to get a good ending of the game? Yes. And considering, um, if I really felt like replaying this game again and wanting to get the special key, then yeah, it would be helpful. about something. Nope. No analog mode. I was going to say, my left thumb is starting to feel the pressure from using the D-pad on the X-Bone controller. Uh, yeah, may as well deposit that. So now that we've taken care of that, the next step is to make our way back to that other save room at the other end. So from there, we can make our way over to the warehouse. Now, I say the warehouse like that's where we're headed. We're actually going into the garden just past the warehouse. So that's where our next adventure will take us to. Should have known I was going to miss one of the shots. Should have known. So it just occurred to me, did I? Okay, I did turn out one mixture of herbs. Good, one last thing for me to worry about. Still can't do anything with that ladder. Just yet. We have a battery, we can place that in. 
And now this elevator is working. So now you're thinking, oh yay, you got an elevator to work. Uh, whoopty shit. What's the point anyway? There's a reason for that. Because remember that one uh, path we wanted to go into, but the water is running? Well, that's the other reason why we needed the crank. Because now we have to go back to that crank and lower it down to block off the water. there. Number one, we can't go down there because the water's blocked. Not that it matters. We don't need to use that path anymore now that the elevator's working. And make our way down into here. Notice, now that we stop that, now the passage into here is open. So now we are officially done with the mansion. Never need to worry about that area again. And now we can go into... Oh. Don't know why I heard the footsteps and thought, oh shit, there's another hunter in here. Oh, oh hi, Barry. Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. And here's the thing. We have the option to choose yes or no. It's stupid to stray from the path. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Um, also, I forgot how this path goes. Um, let me check something first, because I know, based on the decisions, will determine uh, whether I get a good ending or a bad ending. So, uh, feel free to talk amongst yourselves at this point. Uh, I'm just going to research this for a bit. Come on, Google Chrome, show me your infinite wisdom here. It should be under Game Facts. Okay, keyboard, could you show up? There we go.
questions under plot analysis. Oh, God, no, no, no. That is not the one I'm looking for. Jesus Christ. Uh, maybe game script? Ah, here we go. I'm glad you had the patience there, Barry. Uh, just wait for me. Okay. I think that's if you take the bad path. So I think what I want to choose is yes. So let's go with this. Although, um, to be fair, um, give me a second. Uh, I do want to try and do this the right way. Okay, so it's one. Okay, so leave it there. Okay. So let's try this with yes. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. Well, I understand. It may be more dangerous if you come behind me. Be careful. Perry? too close. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Also, why does it sound like we're in a sound tunnel or something? Also, got a first aid spray there. Sweet. Explosive rounds. Sweet. It's a power generator, but it doesn't seem to work. It's a power generator. doesn't seem to work. It's a power generator, but it doesn't seem to work. Aww. I think I know where I'm at. So if I go into here, this would take us to the next part of that room.
Or we could just go right back from where we got, damn it. Uh, so, based on where I'm at, we head back this way. Once you go forward, immediately to our right, there should be another door. This is the door I'm thinking of. Duh. So let's see. Okay, here we go. See, I knew there was going to be a bit of fumbling. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes. Enrico. There's Barry. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Huh? Ow. Uh well, I'm dead now. Enrico! Nah, no good. Barry is investigating. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. It's odd, he's holding something. Ammo clip, which I can't even wield. Oh well, we'll come back for that later. And another crank was dropped off. Unfortunately, we do not have the room for it, so these will have to pass up first now. Ah! Also, I just noticed what's there. Too, because as far as I'm aware, there's no way for us to continue onward unless I deposit some items. Hopefully there's an item box nearby. hunters. Though, I'll be honest with you, I can only say I hate these damn hunters so many times before, eventually, even to me, it starts to lose all meaning. Well, good, there's a save box. I can't use the damn uh... Item box, though. Which, considering they had a save point there, you'd think, at the very least, they would put an item box for you, but no. <sighs> I don't feel like using a crank again, just to get to the dormitories. 
So unfortunately, this means we gotta head back into the mansion again. Killian, remember when I said we weren't going to go into the mansion again? Yeah, yeah, that's what you said! I lied. <sighs> Hopefully there's not a restock of more of those hunters. Because otherwise, goddamn. all these. So I'm pretty sure, much like the v jolt and all the other batteries, we won't be needing these. Um... No, I think we got all we need. So let's move on. Making our way through here. Uh, which, since we do have some downtime, I may as well ask, uh, for those of you watching at home, uh, have you ever played a Resident Evil game before? And if so, what was your first experience with the series? Which, I guess for me, I kind of heard about Resident Evil. Uh, my main series was the second one. If only because my eldest brother would play it all the time growing up. It's funny, I'd love to say I would go on a mini rant uh, about Resident Evil 2, but um, there's a time and place for that once we actually get to Resident Evil 2. And besides, uh, because I love Resident Evil 2, I can't even say it's a rant, more or less a ramble. For fuck's sakes. So, sure, you'll respawn the hunters in that room, not in here. That that, that makes total sense. Th thank you, game. Thank you. So the other crank we got was a, a square. This one is more or less a hexagon version, and Barry's gone. And it's such a shame that Enrico's dead. Oh well, nothing less to do here except to loot the corpse! Because, let's face it, at this point, um, when it comes to survival horrors, uh, there are two ways you could die. You could either be all dead or just be mostly dead. And granted, if you're mostly dead, there's still a chance you could be brought back to life. And then if you're all dead, well, if you're all dead, there's only one thing left to do. And that is, check his wallet and see if he has any valuables. And yeah, now it's a good time to heal. Hmm. 
Anybody else want to cause some damage here? Huh? Any more of you fuckos around? Specific placement. Yeah, now there's a hex gun hole, so now I can use this crank. to the other side, no problem. Also, how do you all feel about Indiana Jones? Da -da -da -da, copyright. Da -da -da -da, get to see M8 dots the boulder. Rolling towards the wall at the end of the hall. Now to shut up now before I get a copyright strike. Of course. situation. Uh, <laughs> let's leave for now. So I bet you anything... another hunter from where I'm going to the safe room back at the mansion. That's going to make me just super pissed at that point. Because we could not possibly avoid the whole um, no hit run, which, let's be real, I wasn't expecting a no hit run. I would love to try and go through this with zero deaths. To at least show that I'm a bumbling fool, but at least I'm a bumbling fool who has an inkling of an idea of what to do in the game. a good thing, the one, one good thing I'll say about uh, this game that doesn't appear in Resident Evil 2 or 3 is that um, if you are in low health status, um, the game doesn't make you feel that realistic damage. Because right now, we are dancing towards death right now. Mm. 
So at this point, uh, no matter how fast we were running, we would be limping our asses off and just moving incredibly slow. Uh, switch that out. Switch that out. And that. Use this so we get full heal and cleared of the poison. And just in case we might... There is no might. We will run into that enemy again. Light healing. If nothing else, so we can clear the poison status. Also, since we are here, and they were giving us the flame rounds for a specific reason, may as well get the most out of it. thing my headset has a built-in uh, mute button because when you have to sneeze uh, it can get incredibly loud let alone if you have to um, take care of a few coughs every now and then it can definitely get a bit noisy Once again, take on this boss. Yeah, this time, no joking around. You're going down, spider. See? Down it went. Spiders are here. Yay. Let's not deal with the spiders, shall we? And why would it give us another one of those? I get a feeling you have to use it for this, but I wonder. There we go. We have the flame rounds, may as well use that to burn off the webs. Uh, of course, no rush.
And only now do we get the si Why couldn't we get it early on, game? That would have been so helpful if we had that item box early on, so then I wouldn't have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth from the fucking man mansion. It's like the game knew. The game knew it wanted to find an excuse to piss me off at some point. Uh, keep that close by, just in case. Although, I should probably, um, put the spare bullets there, because it's just eating up our inventory. Put those there. All right. Let's grab our items. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. And how much you want to bet that's ink ribbon? Yep. Not gonna bother. Spare blue herb. Just in case. I think I'll keep the blue herb. Since we already have a way to heal ourselves fully. Oh shit, there are snakes. Watch out for snakes. Ah, shit. Forgot they showed up there. And let me guess. In another one of these areas with a boulder here. Honestly, I don't think there's much to the underground map. So all that's left is just one, maybe two rooms, and we're already close to the end. But at least we got our second MO disc, which is good. And there is one more thing to explore here, so... That can only mean one thing. We have to... Oh, wait, that's the way. That is a need away. We gotta deposit that MO disc anyway, so may as well replace that with our octagonal crank.
And obviously, uh, we can't have that hole at the bottom, because otherwise we'll have nothing else left to do here. So that means... So there's something in here, which there isn't. Let's jump down the pit. That'd be fun. No. Because I think... If there wasn't anything to our right, there should be something to our left. Aha! Make our way through here. It's another one of these puzzles. Because that's what we need to grab. Can't use the crank because of the stat. Oh, wait. Shit. Let me reset that room. the statue all the way there. us to here for a second book. Let's see. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. And there was a medal inside the book. Just like the other one. So the book is useless, but now we have the wolf medal. these in. The same too, I am wearing a headset with the cushion bits on the ear piece, but even then it feels like it's starting to put a little pressure onto there. Either way, still able to move forward here. And depending on what is waiting for us uh, up this elevator, we might need to dip back into that save room to grab the two medals. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is no might. We definitely. It's 
welded and does not open. Well, at least we got more herbs. Big sort of an eagle is carved in a round hollow. This is where we need to go. While over here, it's a picture of a wolf carved in a round hollow. Hmm. Up to grab the two herbs, head back down, grab our two medals, and then we can move forward. Wow. Pretty sure at this point we don't need the crank. If I were to look at the map once more... Uh, nah, it just doesn't show. What I'd love to say, there was an excuse to say, uh, yeah, you could be able to go through here, uh, but no, it was welded shut, so yeah, you're not going to be able to get through there. I remember this saying there was a wolf carving there, so deposit you in there. And deposit the eagle. So now all the water from that fountain is drowned out. The other path gets opened up. And now we've opened up a whole new path. But first things first. This is just a shadow. But can you blame me? The way that shadow looks, like, right there, you'd think that was an herb. Sometimes Capcom does a good job, sometimes they do too good of a job. So now we can enter our way through here ride this elevator all the way down. And now, my friends, we start to uncover the secrets. Door is locked tight and can't be able to go through. There's a plate on the right-hand side. 
there is a ladder down here, so let's descend. Make sure we got handgun ready. And my god, we actually get to have a item box here. Holy fucking shit. And these will come into play. Not right now, though. But yeah, since we are starting to get into endgame territory here, we may as well keep our handgun for now, just so we can empty up that clip. Hi there. is our third and final MO disc. It's electronically locked. A visual data room. That will play a vital role later on. Let's see, what do we have here? The green herb. We are starting to get a little too many uh, blue herbs at this point. So, I think what I'm going to do is deposit the blue herb at this point and try and focus on making more uh, triple greens. down the steps. Got some naked zombos to deal with now. So, don't need to worry about you. Right, let's check out our map here. So, our 
at the main entrance here. Let's try, or at least the main path just next to the ladder. <laughs> Fuck, I did it again. <sighs> See, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I would confuse staircases with ladders. There's a staircase next to that door. <sighs> the passcode panel. We don't have the passcodes. How do we get the passcodes? That's where the MO discs come into play. We have to find three specific um, key code inputs and insert an MO disc inside each one of them. Oh, guess who respawned? Oh, gee. There's spook number three. going to be upset if I waste them all. Locked from the inside. Power room. Doors tightly locked. So that means the only other door that is not locked is this one. There are slides, which you really don't need to beat the game, but if you want to get a better understanding of what exactly is going on here, then yeah, it will help. This computer is used to open the electronic locks. Will you turn it on? Hell yeah, we will. Umbrella. From Rubbles. Okay, login. Um, if it's what I think it is, um, I should already know the password. So if we're typing in as Ada, with her password being her boyfriend, John... Login incorrect. Or no. No, we're logging in as John, who is using his girlfriend as his password. So, bet you anything, it's the exact same, but flip-flopped. There we go. Let's see. Select the floor. Basement level 2. Password denied. Uh, shit. Nope, can't do anything about that. Fine, let's try basement floor level 3, then. So hopefully that doesn't need a password. Okay, got that one. <laughs> she does that stupid little finger bang move. Alright, we'll have to come back for that one later, because I don't remember the password for this one. Or if I do, um, it's not springing to mind. It, as, I know that's a place for housing medicines there. Uh, the way I see it... The uh, uh, way I see it, it's just... Uh, zombos that keep respawning!
Yeah, this door is at least unlocked now. Or, no. No, you don't understand. But this door, however, is unlocked. Turn on the light switch so we can see what the hell we're doing. Seems someone used this only recently. More ammo clips! It's like the game knew we were fighting... or refighting Zambos here. Wait, is that a... Fuck. Should've grabbed the herb first. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Okay, so in case you are wondering how I knew the password to this, this is why. Dear Ada. Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like I'm going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape. And make all this public through the media. If everything's in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2, where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first, and then enter another password. I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll be able to understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you manage to, to find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. The password is... <laughs> yours. John. But yeah. Uh, there's a reason that's the case. Because we saw a picture something similar to that. John. Ada. So let's see. So you kind of get the idea of what it is that we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, but now let's try looking at this again without the lights on. It's too dark to see. Because there should be a blue light that we can access. Which I believe we can do from here. Alright, fine. We'll turn the regular light switch on, but still have the blue light. Because now it changed into tree, apple... Man and woman. Right, so now, once again, turn off the blue light. I'm going to step in a way that I'm not interfering with that. Uh, let's check back with our files. Not that one. What we need is peas mirrored, uh, squiggle, half an arrow, and M. Uh, pfft, yeah. So what we need is. So L O N. Um so it O L Oh wait. 
Oh, I think I know what we're searching for. M for man. The O for the squiggles. Half the arrow is L, and the last one is E. So what we need, um, simply put, there's a mole in the system, which makes perfect sense for someone like Psyche. MOLE! Tell me they respond. I knew it! I'm gonna have to them dip. They already came by, so that doesn't count as a spook. However, um, we'll still heal up with that. Now we could be able to go through here. Re-enter with John Ada and then type in mole. I wonder, am I able to... No, of course not. Have to sit through that intro yet again. I just realized what you put in Omega. Good, good reference. Nice monkey suit. Wise ass. Oh, 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 oh. Thought it would wrap around. Accessing, accessing. Further login required. Password identified. Security in B2 unlocked. Now we already unlocked the one on this floor, so we're good. this room, I can enter from the inside. Just need to find a way how to get into it. So I forgot if I'm able to do from here or if it's another way around. Either way, um, we'll find the answers. So I get the feeling I'd probably go in there, which will let me into a vent from there. So it looks like for now, we can't go in. I'm willing to accept that. At any rate, let's move onward. Uh, I don't think there's a way to get in from up above. As far as I'm aware, I don't think that's possible. Let's see, an intercom. It does not appear to be operational. Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. A projector. Well, we do have a slide. May as well put them to good use. Umbrella Incorporated Bioweapon Materials Report. Or just a bio 
organic weapons. Or B.O.W., official report will say. Ma 39, Cerberus. V3, Neptune, which, if we didn't drain the water, yeah, they would have been a threat, but so far, not that big a deal. Ma 121, Hunters. Fuck the Hunters. T002, Tyrant. Bioweapon Research Institute. Research and Development Staff. So, all these don't look that familiar, except for the right one. Wait a minute. A guy walking around wearing sunglasses. This picture shows that same guy wearing sunglasses with bleached blonde hair. Hmm. I think we're starting to uncover something they really do not want us to know. And what do we have in here? It's a lab key! Good. So now we can actually head back into that room that we couldn't get into before. And what do we have in here? Let's see. Security system! Basement level 1. Heliport. Executives and government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an incident. Passage to the helicopter. No one is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All others will be shot on sight. Oof, that's harsh. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. And basement level two. Visual data room. Visual data room is within the control of Special Research Division. Keith Arving, the room manager, is designated to have jurisdiction over room usage. Basement level 3, prison. Sanitation Division controls the usage of the prison. Consultant researcher E. Smith S. Ross A. Wesker. Hmm. The name Wesker sounds very familiar, and in the intro, when it was showing the role of cast, Wesker did start with the name Albert. Nah, I'm sure it's mean nothing. I'm just looking far deep into this. Anyway, those consultant researchers must be present if a virus is used. Triple lock door. No one is allowed to enter unless he presents all the passcode documents. Passcode documents must be operated on a specialized output machine by the chief researcher on each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors may enter. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has received special instructions otherwise. Passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine except for the chief researchers. And finally, basement level floor, top secret. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the use of the T-Virus, and the rest of the document is unreadable. So again, you don't necessarily need to view the slides, but if this was your first time, and you didn't know who or what was behind any of this, um, yeah, it, it would definitely help. But yeah, all joking aside, um, yeah, our captain of stars, yeah, he's with Umbrella. Wait, let's go through here. Uh, not this room. Not this room, but this one. You have used the lab key. Yeah, it's useless. <laughs> Not necessarily what I was planning to do with that, but sure, it worked out in the end. Just, see. Ah. Just more Zambos. Oh yeah, I'm going to give that Zambo some credit. At least, um, unlike the other Zambos we met um, on this floor already, he's at least properly dressed. 
think of all the others. So I think there's an operating table. Let's see. Yeah, I thought that was something you could interact with. Shotgun shells! I will gladly take those. Thank you very much. And guess what, folks? It's time for yet another puzzle. Because much like with that other one, uh, with the statues, uh, we have to cover up all three of these, but in order to successfully do this, we have to make sure we're covering the vents first and foremost. somewhat push it out of the way. Hmm. Make sure I'm still able... you down. There we go. Okay. I was growing a bit concerned. Did I already fuck up this puzzle? Nope, we're good. We've covered up the gas. We could be able to enter our way through here. No trouble. And, uh, I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> so di staring directly at it, I can't go in. Searching just to the side. Oh, yeah, now you can enter that room. Corpse is laid in here. What? First off, unlock it. So now we can be able to get in there. Aha! It's a passcode output machine. But if I had an MO disk, uh, then I could be able to use it. So yes, now we're going to start running into those devices. And if we want to get a good ending, uh, possibly even best ending, uh, now we're going to have to use those MO disks. back into this room, lighten our load, and more importantly, uh, get ourselves our stuff, although, actually, first off, do that, and then let's grab our first MO disc. There we go. 
go back into you in a bit. First off. I'm gonna head back in here. So that way we can insert the first of the MO discs. Passcode number two. I will surely bless you and make you your and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And as the sand on the seashore, your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. Genesis 22:17. Oh, sweet! So even before uh, this came out on PlayStation, they were talking about the Sega Genesis. Nice. Okay, in all seriousness, um, this is coming from someone who was raised Christian, which, uh, by the way, uh, if you have an overbearing parent who is telling you all the stuff to be Christian, that's the greatest way to become atheist, by the way. Or at least in my case, agnostic. You again... Maybe it was the previous one from there. Okay, I only shot you twice. I know for a fact you're still alive. Wait, you're really dead? <laughs> okay. Would have thought you need more, but I guess not. Alright. Uh, let's see. The small room just up ahead, but I know um, there's going to be more to do around the way. Actually, I think if this is leading to where I believe it is, this might be a good idea to grab the other... Uh, I was going to say grab the other discs. Apparently, I was going into that room. Before we commit to that, let's grab the other two ammo <laughs> discs along the way. And let me guess. Respawn. Okay. Just that one time, I suppose. <laughs> Although, personally, I feel like, um, since I'm still talking about this rant about <laughs> Uh, religion of sorts, and I'm not the type that likes to dive into religion, so I'm just gonna give my quick two cents here, and then drop the subject, because I hate bringing politics and religion into this, because, let's be real, why would you play a video game and dive deep into uh, politicians and religions of sorts, because I know that's easily a way to ruin um... I, I'd say a career. Just ruining fun in general. Uh, but, yeah. I feel like it's better to be uh, agnostic um, I hope I'm getting that term right uh, than being atheist because what's the point of being atheist saying, oh yeah, uh, we, we, we were just in this earth. Uh, it just happened one day. Now we're here. We're living. Live with it, lol. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't believe that. I mean, how did everything in this world come to pass? How did it uh, get to this point? I like to think, at the very least, there is a higher power and just an equal uh, lesser power. I don't know what it is, but at this point, nor do I care. I'm just living as it is, accepting the truth for what it is. Okay, there you go! I knew you were going to respawn again. Like, specifically, when I enter through that door, it doesn't happen. I still can't see from there if he's dead or not. Oh, well. Oh! I I'm, I'm going to... Blame it all on first game syndrome. That that's all I have to say in retaliation. First game syndrome. Ink ribbons! Guess what I'm not using. At least not right now. 
Maybe near end game, which, to be fair, I'm already at end game. Which isn't really saying much of anything at this point. Also, what do we have here? Uh, just blue herbs. Not gonna bother. We already have too many, um, blue herbs mixed in with the green herbs as is. And I still have yet to find more of those, um... More of those, uh, red herbs. So, not gonna bother with that at this point. Although, if I am at where I think I am... I think this point might be a good idea to... If not permanently, somewhat retire the Beretta. So we can instead um, focus on using up our flame rounds. Because at this point, you know, there's not really that much of a small threat to deal with. And if nothing else, we're going to come across the true bosses of this game and need all the fire pyre, pyre, fire power we can get. All right. Yeah, those are Reapers, or as I like to call them, Headhunters, because my god, they love swiping at your head. Alright, let's see, what are we dealing with here? Room with lots of corridors. So I think what we'll do, thankfully the steam doesn't hurt. Oh, hi! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, show up already, damn it. <laughs> Alright, what do we have in here? Power panels. Some areas do not have power. Will you activate them? Why not? Okay, so... That was to that little bit there. This is that edge from here. Thankfully, as much as I'm aware, uh, unless you were to stay perfectly still, and take the abuse like a dumb, dumb dummy. Those maggots shouldn't be any real issue for you. Let's see, nothing there. And then all we have to do is just wrap around through here. That just brings us back here. So now we can get to the end of this room. Oh, great! There's more of them! Yeah, can you drop down already for me, please? Exasperating trying to get through there. Anyway, MO disc. 
insert here. Passcode number three. Somehow he passed up one. So we'll find it eventually. And through your effort, and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed, because you have obeyed me. Genesis 22, 18. Somewhere along the way, he wants to pass one. There we go. Alright, at least there's one more to input. So. And. I already forgot, let me double check. Uh. Bu -bu 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 -bu. So I believe yeah, we've done everything here. So now, back over to here we go. Main engine room. Power connection switch. The power to the elevator is off. Will you connect it? Hell yeah. Power for the elevator is activated as the pa power supply and the circuit has been connected. Which is nice. Now, how much you want to bet there is going to be an enemy that will spawn in as I try and leave? It's a triggering system activator. It's quite big. Since we've already done everything that is necessary for here, we can just leave this room and not worry about anything else. Okay, I have to know something. I just have to know. It's stupid, it's gonna waste time, but I have to know. Okay, good. The game's learned its lesson. Now, as far as I'm aware, uh, because I know that one room I can't enter. Can I? Actually, I just had a thought. Since I powered up that room there, let me see if I can get into that other room. So I believe it said it was electronically locked, as if the power was out. But now that the power is back on, maybe I can enter that one room. Ah. Who knows what I'm looking? Maybe I'll find the final passcode thing of a doodle. Shit. And we got a fax. To General Manager of Sanitation Division. From Special Committee on Research, Disaster, S Raccoon Special Research Department. This memorandum, memorandum, I should say, is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Someone didn't do their job properly. Uh, regarding the T-virus outbreak, which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the incident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers... Yeah, actual numbers. For a moment I thought it was... Wait, was it supposed to be members? No, actual numbers. It is thought that more than half the researchers died after exposure to the T-virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all the survivors show systems peculiar to the T-virus. 
Second, our security system is still operational. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should and must be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the, quote, subjects, end quote, from the experiments have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these, quote, subjects, end quote, and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proofs of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope this problem will be solved quickly. We are specifically concerned that the state police and STARS are intervening too quickly. We need to act on this situation as well. Switch for the air conditioner. Yeah, why why switch that often? Mm. Sexy time. And next to sexy time is ink ribbons. I want to save my sexy time. Yeah, how about no? Time and place for that. And hey, guess what we found here? First of all, nothing special. But we finally have the last of those passcode output thingamadoodles. Get... Yes, yes, we know, we know. We can get the code. Let me input it. Thank you. Pasco number one. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. Genesis 22, 16. Anyway, now that we have all three passcodes... Now we can be able to save Chris. Spoiler alert, that's what's on the other side of this door. Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. It don't, doesn't don't. work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. So yeah, now we know that Chris is there, but we can't save him just yet. But don't you worry, we will. I can promise you that, we will. Uh, but yeah, since now... <laughs> yeah, it's not like he could do much of anything else. Yeah, now that we are able to progress even further on, now I think might be a good idea to grab some of our more effective weapons. Because we're already starting to run low on the flame rounds, which, to be fair, as far as zombies go, they they are quite effective. Uh, what we're dealing with is far, far more than just a zombie. So we actually, uh, do I have, yes, just waste that flame round. Because who gives a shit about that? We're trying to bring in our explosive rounds and acid rounds. And since we are starting to get near endgame material, we'll bring in some healing items as well. Start with that. So now that we have the elevator that's operational now, we can go downstairs further into the basement. In this case, we're going into the basement's basement. Oh, 
reaction. It has no power. Ah, press the switch. There we go. Jill. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Yeah, let's get going down here. Oh, oh, by the way, I found Chris! You don't want to bring that up? Let's find a way how to save him? No? Nothing? Just toss Chris's... Okay, fine. Man, when Chris hears about this, he's going to be super pissed. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be, not be made public. <laughs> this disaster cannot, Why, cannot stars be made public. It's so inconvenient. Oh, well, in this so case, I think it was cannot not now, be public. Along with so you do want to make monsters. it public, then. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this, ent this entire laboratory. <laughs> I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. <sighs> oh my goodness. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and uh, you intimidate oh, him PSX by taking his family as don't hostage ever hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet. I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Clonk. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, Plus it's good to know that Barry is still a good guy. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon. Called Tyrant or something, I, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Uh, what, what if you're not properly trained to deal with the tyrant and you decide to let it loose? Yeah, that's going to look good on your PRs. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, Wesker's are kind of shit. It's not going to look good either way. <laughs> I know it's just a tyrant right now. It, it was a biological weapon made for that purpose, but god damn is it ugly.
Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Let's see, uh, Q, W, O, P, yeah, I think that's how it works. Yeah, I'm sure that's not how it's spelled, but I get where you're going at. It's a quote from, uh, Predator. Damn you! You are one ugly motherfucker. Also, good aim there, Barry! control what it does. Ow. We're fine. This is fine. The Three shots. That... really? Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I'm on beginner difficulty because, yeah, I'm sure that boss should be far more powerful. Let's get going. Uh, let's just see. I should probably deposit my shotgun at this point because it is not gonna come into play again. to Wesker. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. So yeah, if it wasn't made obvious beforehand, we are now officially at endgame territory. Oh, if I want to get the best ending, that's that's gonna be a given. So I think this is a safe room. Yeah, so let's let's do it. In fact, um, I'm not going to be able to use that. I was going to use a smaller curse, but fuck it. That'll get to that too And I'm pretty sure um, there's nothing else left for us to worry about at this point. So, place you with the acid rounds. Full herbs. Master Herb, and then we'll leave one slot open, because I know uh, we'll need that later on. Uh, oh, gee, I forgot you were there. Oh, it didn't really scare me, scare me, so I'm not going to count that as a spook. So I think we're still at three at this point. Because, yeah, once the uh, self-destruct sequence is activated, only then does this lock open up where you can save Chris. Oh, Jill! 
Sorry for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Oh, such a nice, touching moment. Uh, anyway, fuck that noise! It's time to go back to the self-destruct sequence! Nothing else matters! <laughs> yeah, uh, bye. Let's go! Don't worry, I'll keep you protected, Jill. The fact that I have absolutely no weapons with me since I was captured. Like, seriously, Chris, don't you think you should, you know, watch your back and everything? You know, not saying, just saying. But yeah, in case you're wondering uh, why I didn't save, I believe there should be a save in here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, there isn't. Uh, no, fuck it. I'm a man. In fact, I'm gonna do that. Hurry, everyone! Also, uh, hi, Chris. How you been? Also, I... Wait, I don't think that's the way out. Oh, no, wait, it is. Don't you get the beep 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 to look at the radio? It's just flat out telling me at this point. Plug in this battery. <laughs> like, what's the point then? There is three minutes until explosion. But Chris! Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you again at the heliport. Okay then. Not much I could do then, so whatever. So yeah, there's three minutes until the detonation, but really they mean two and a half minutes. Because, at this point, you can't do a damn thing. Alright, the next thing we need to do... Inside this box is get a flare. And this is the stupidest thing to do in real life. Ignite the flare inside the flare box. Because now, Brad Vickers will see that flare and come towards us. Wait, thanks for wasting all that fuel, Brad. Couldn't think of a better way to climb up from there. Of course. Well, we're not done yet. Now the true tyrant fought. Yeah. Try to combine fight and boss. The true tyrant boss fight begins. So now it's time to take it out the old-fashioned way. 
rocket launcher. And that's Resident Evil 1. Never once did we use the acid rounds, so take that for what you will. And yeah, again, I'm going to put this all on the fact that this was a uh, beginner difficulty, because otherwise, yeah, even Form 2 was pathetically easy. You'd think he would be diving right at us to make this uh, fight a bit more trickier, but no. But yeah, Barry's still alive. He's still a good guy. Jill made it out successfully alive, and more importantly, we rescued Chris Redfield. We got ourselves the best ending of this game. Especially since we took out the tyrant. <laughs> what was left of the mansion gets covered up by an explosion. <laughs> In the background, it's CG. And of course, Barry's got nothing else better to do. He's just gonna uh, check out his payload. Why not? I mean, if you have some downtime in a helicopter, what else would you do? And I'm sure, um... Yeah, you'd think he would at least catch some Zs. Um, first off, I have to give shout-outs to Charlie, Gregory, and Eric. Top-notch voice acting. Although, better yet, who was... Oh, that was... Those were all physical actors on there. We're not even going to get to the other actors, like uh, Richard. Ow, I got bit by a snake. I think it was poisonous, too. <laughs> like, you can tell the urgency from his monotonal voice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, some of you might be thinking, wait, are you really concentrating on playing this game? Why not play the remake? I'm sure that's far better. Give it time. There's a reason I'm doing the story order in this way. By the time I'm done, it will make all the more sense. I promise, just give it time. <clears throat> so yeah, the next time I tackle this game, uh, I will be taking the Chris route instead. But, I, I will admit, this game does have its fair share of problems, but again, first game syndrome. Especially for the PlayStation, which at this time, um, I'm pretty sure even they weren't 100% sure what it was going to be as far as game system goes. Because we had games that were... Um, we had um, E for Everyone games, teen games, we have mature rated games, and there were also uh, early learning games for the PlayStation, because at this point they really didn't know how to market this game as a system. Because, let's be real, the PlayStation was originally stolen as an idea that Sony did from Nintendo, because they were originally uh, going to work together to make a CD-based console, uh, or at least a CD-based add-on for the Nintendo 64 at the time. So because they went to do this as their own thing, uh, for Sony, they decided uh, we need to make as much money as possible to keep the system going. We'll take any and all types of games here. But, yeah. Thankfully, um, later on, the Resident Evil series does get better, believe me. Uh, if you thought the acting was bad here, it still at times gets bad in 2 and 3, but at least they're trying to put more of an effort into it. And I just bumped into my mic and my headset. They're at least trying to put more effort into it so it doesn't sound as cheesy. A bit more seriousness with a bit of cheesy bits into it, because, let's face it, it's horror. If you can't poke fun at it, what's the point, even? <sighs> but yes, 
Uh, the godfather of Mega Man, Keiji Inafune himself, was a producer for this game, so... Gotta give him props for that. Also, uh, Shinji Mikami, that's another important name. Uh, I think one game that's technically not Resident Evil, but should get uh, props for it anyway. I would highly, highly recommend um, getting the English um, ROM hack uh, port of Sweet Home for the Nintendo. If you wanted an introduction to survival horror in a form of an RPG, Look no further than Sweet Home. Uh, based off of the Japanese film of that sort, again, I would highly recommend you watch. You can just type in Sweet Home, and it will have a translation for that. I think it's split into five different parts, maybe six. But yeah, I would highly recommend that film, and especially look up a playthrough of that game if you get the chance. But yeah, only made one save which I think is the bare minimum for getting a high score, but we were fucking around time-wise, so as good as I feel like I did, I don't think it was an A rank. But yeah, not a bad clear time for fumbling around, and only one save, so I'll take it. But yeah, for getting a good ending, you get the special key. And may as well just save over that, because why the hell not? So again, what's the point of playing a save right there? So you start with a special key in your inventory, of course. But you know, I got some spare time. Why not? Resident Evil. So I really should think about um, getting some food, or at least going to the bathroom, but... You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. What is this? Wow, what a mansion. Although I do think I have to um, play through Captain a bit of this Wester, game because I think Chris? that door is locked uh, before I can Stop even it. attempt to use Don't that key. Open that door. Now, if that's the case, uh, I might just skip it. What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Again, you could have said, okay, I'll watch over this room for the Stay time alert. Being. Eh, what can you do in this case? A dining room. What? What is this? <sighs> what is it? Blood. Jill. See if you can find and find any other clues. I'll See be if you can find this. and find any other clues. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Again, I just love the fact that the color of the blood can change in the DS version, so it'll look like it's yellow or blue. Uh, and, he, and you hear Barry say that same line. Oh, this isn't Chris's blood. It's like, really? You, you, you think... Uh, Chris is either an alien or has monster blood. That That's a good idea. Okay, so I can't skip the in-game cutscenes, but I can skip the CG cutscenes. That, that makes total sense. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, back to the main hall we go. 
Wesker! Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Again, well, you could have said, first Chris, now Wesker. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And, Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Again, that's what signing up for that rope class gets you. Being Thanks. able to lockpick Maybe like a master. It. You're not necessarily a master of lockpicking. Listen, if something happens, Let's meet up in this hall. <coughs> this time, I'll be there. So let me see. Now... Yeah. Still need to go through that one. So I don't think it's worth... Showing it off. But yes, as you can see, now we have the special key in our inventory. And I'll see if I can uh, look up a picture of what you get from there. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's not necessarily what I'm looking for, but at least it'll bring me closer to what I need to do. Resident Evil series. Of course, the first things that pop up are the remake ones, which I'm not looking for. I'm looking for the original one. Maybe if I search director's cut, it will show up better. Oh, Jesus. There's so many different costumes for Yeah, if I were to search for all of these costumes, it, it would it would take forever. So um, I, I'm just gonna say let's let's not worry about it too much about it. Uh, just know that there are multiples of those costumes you can get. I think one of them uh, is a somewhat skimpy outfit that uh, kind of makes her look like a hooker. Like it's basically blue jeans with a black tank top, and then. One of them is basically the same outfit she was wearing beforehand, only she's got green shoulder pads and uh, instead of a blue um, shirt, it's a darker blue um, 
tank top. And then there's also one that literally quite makes her look like a whore. All right, this, you know what, this item I will showcase if I can be able to copy it. Ah, fuck. Of course, it's a Web P one, so it's not going to work. Fuck. Damn it. I just want to show off the fucking costumes at this point. <laughs> no, you're not even going to show me that much. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, there is those three there. And then the other one that I... Th yeah, there's one, as I'm saying, the one that literally makes her look like a whore um, is basically her wearing black short shorts and then... Um, if anyone's familiar with uh, Roxy and or Poison from the Final Fight series, basically imagine that's a button shirt that she's wearing with a police hat. It's almost like she's a reference to Final Fight in that case. Wearing the Eddie B outfit if he had a sex change. Because <laughs> there's that. Um, but yeah... Like I said, literally a horse costume. But then there's one that's far more acceptable. Um, I think it's not going to be the same one. But I think uh, if I'm able to get this image, that's probably the closest one I can show off. Okay, yeah, that one will work. Alright, so... The one image I can show off, even though I wanted to show off the other one. Uh, first off, it would help if I show that off. Mm, let's see. What's that one? Alright, let's bring up our photo pics here. I'll just search my entire library of pictures so I can find the one I'm looking for. And there it is. So yeah, this is practically the other outfit that she gets from that room. It's probably the best way I could describe how that outfit looks. This one, I'd say, is more or less a G-rated version of how you get an alternate costume to Jill Valentine in that case. But yeah, so much for that picture. But yeah, just wanted to showcase that bit there uh but yeah that's gonna do it for me folks i'd like to thank y'all for watching if any of you are new to this channel and wish to see more playthroughs of this be sure to uh leave me a follow since it helps the channel grow um insert talk about final fantasy playthrough after reaching 150 followers blah 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 all throughout this month of spooktober i will be playing resident evil games which means next up we will be playing resident evil 2 now let's see who I can give shoutouts to. Oh, uh, jeez. I, 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 I have to. I have to give shoutouts. Uh, first off, uh, just a quick shoutout to Pan Anning. After reaching his own uh, sub goal, he is playing through Warrior Land 2. It's kind of a departure from the original WarriorWare. Or Wario Land game, where it's still about collecting money, uh, but not in your typical Mario Land uh, playthrough there. But also, I am going to give a shout-out as well to the other ones. Ah, yes! I'm going to give a shout-out to Juker. Um, it says Retro. He is playing his own spooky games of sorts. I don't think it even says what it is. Uh, the Gregory Horror Show. Not sure what to make of that. But um, more importantly, I'm going to give a shout out to Killer MC. Uh, says playing retro. As far as I'm aware, he is currently playing through Total Recall for the NES. And if anyone knows that game, my god, it is so, so bad. It's such a bad NES game. I don't even know what to tell you. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a search for 
Resident Evil. We'll see if there's anyone who we can uh, raid from there. Oh yeah, we got uh, people playing Resident Evil games. Let's see if there's anyone from there. Who can we give a shout out to? Uh, I think I'm seeing this person here. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's check out Tolomeo, that's also playing through. So let's go give them a raid. Make sure I'm spelling correctly. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay. So we will do that. And what is our raid message going to be? Yeah, our raid message is going to be, No! Don't go! Twelve years of experience acting to nail that line. It's only appropriate. But yes, as you all know, tomorrow we shall be continuing the Resident Evil uh, horror train by playing ourselves some more of Resident Evil 2. So be sure to look forward to that if you are looking forward to more and more spooks. So until then, folks... Take care, and see you all later. And don't be afraid to let the zombies into your house. <laughs> uh, unless, of course, they're munching on your dick. In that case, don't, don't, don't let them in. Anyway, later!